Welcome to pre-stream, where we don't actually have any subs in between the uh, last time we streamed, so instead I'll just say hello to the VOD Watchers. Uh, you're, you're special and we appreciate you and we love to have you here. We do, we do. It's true. <laughs> oh, I want you to get for a snack before stream. Um. Uh. Um. Uh, toast. Yeah. Oh, can I get a side stream of the music if there's any going? Oh yeah, um, I just- it, it's just the Stardew, uh, it's the menu. Oh yeah, well, I mean, you know. Hi! Better than the, uh, the- better than the- than the headphone hiss. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of, let me send I you- I have 43 I fucking pay might. Oh, um, do we have the code? Shit, we should- yeah, Okay, I'm, listen, wait. we should have done that before stream, but you have to understand, I got caught up talking to my parents, so- <laughs> Yeah, give me a sec. I'm gonna put up the alert I, and I'll send you the code. Sometimes- Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I still- I, I gotta make sure that, like, Steam remember what online is. Don't need that, don't need that, don't it's a fun little game we play where Steam goes, Are you sure you're online? Are you sure you don't want to play LAN? Do you mm -hmm. want to play LAN? Mm -hmm. And I have to tell Steam gently. That's not how this works. Well, thank you for the wasp, Cuppy Dog City. How kind of you, Cuppy Dog City. Uh-oh. Reminds me to clean out the wasps from last time. Don't want to double up the wasps. Sorry, hang on. That music was driving me a little crazy. One sec. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, I love Stardew music, but like, I think the the main menu music ain't its best example. Hello, Somni Snake. Hello, Kalish called Jericho. Hi, Snail. Hello, Cuppy Dog City. Hi, Vandoodles. Let's see how long my East Coast ass can stay awake tonight. Well, I mean, so long as. Oh, hey, Shik. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, Sheik is the person. So. Sh Peek is the person who actually sent us that amazing uh, sweatshirt, the uh, Eat Boss Spread Spores Be Gay one. No uh, kidding. And I was saying, it's okay if you fall asleep. I think it's, I like it, I, I like it more soothing. Mm hmm. Uh, I do too. You should be, I mean, as long as you can see some farming, that's what we're here for. I like to make a little farm, I like to put out some little flowers. East right. Coast time, buddies. Yeah. I feel like a surprise. The amount of our audience is on the East Coast, considering how fucking late we stream for the East Coast. Mm-hmm. We live. You stabbed yourself with embroidery scissors? No! Don't do that, okay? Oh, oh those are sharp, too. Hot, hot tip, do not do that. Were those, uh, now were they the bird scissors? Because you do have to appease the, the little blood. Oh, hey, thank, thank you, you too many rubber ducks for the gift sub. That's very sweet yeah, of you. We, I think we have alerts again this time. <laughs> we do. I fixed it. I fixed it. Um, yeah. I, I fixed it by going through and listening again because it had started doubling when it came back again. And it turns out that the credits sequence of alerts was the only pure sample this time. So I had to oh. wipe out every other instance of it. Also, hi, honey. Okay, um, I'm sending you the code, uh, hang on, here it is. Okay. Yeah, just throw it in collab chatter. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was hoping you'd have a funny word in it again this time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, it's just- Hey! Uh, yeah, don't worry about the stream delay. If it helps, sometimes, like, I'm watching the stream on a slight delay. That's yeah. kind of why it's nice to do- stuff that's co-player because for once like well actually with stardew co-player i'm a, i'm more lost than the audience which is its own fun thing oh the beast is in chat now oh we love the beast hi club we do okay let's yeah, see I, who can you have to have little up. bird scissors for sewing mm -hmm. let's see oh yeah yeah sorry uh kalish called jericho somna snake this. snail uh chic Vandoodles, Greeks, Galaxy Mud. Yo, hey Moo. Moo. Hi, hello, hello, hi. It is farm stream. Aha! 
you, you got Steam in? has recognized internet. Okay. Power of internet. Yeah, yeah. Oh I think I'm pretty much all ready. All right. All right. <sighs> give me. Uh, give Do you want to give like a few a more minutes for people to come in? Yeah. Give me a sec. Yeah, I'll get myself a little cup of tea. Uh, so it's like finally the the time of year where it's starting to get hot here, but my, my stepdad very very graciously basically installed the outside. I got one of those like Whoa. bamboo kind of oh, shutters. Ducks. Yo, thank you, Tim, your for ducks for the gift sub to Cuppy Dog City. <sighs> I don't know if Magnuson counts as the beast. I think he's a beast. Does Magnuson count as a beast? I think he's a beast. I think he's a beast. I think... I think Uriah would say he's a beast, but he follows it by trying to imitate like a human growl noise, but the problem it's... is on a Vortigaunt that just sounds like a predator. I think if you it's wrote on his shoulders, the music noise. for Monster Hunter would play, is what I think. Fuck. Christ. <laughs> God. Uh... So I'm still not into Monster Hunter yet, mm -hmm. but I tried the demo again, uh, playing as Chad and Bugs Advised and trying out the hunting horn. And I will say, I do like the bit with the hunting horn where the weapon has a song that it wants you to play, and the song is called Violence. Yeah. And I like it a lot because my ass isn't good with combos, and that's part of what scared me off a little bit about Monster Hunter in general is that I'm not good at, like, remembering and stringing together combos, but I don't have to do that with the hunting horn. The hunting horn tells me it's combos, and it tells me if I would like to break dance and bring the pain. Mm -hmm. So, I'm thinking. I'm simply thinking about it. I'm thinking. Uh, also, I got to the part in Breath of the Wild where suddenly all these fucking, uh, Zora are like, Hey, would you like to go talk to our prince? <laughs> <laughs> hey! I'm with hey, you, buddy! You you should hey, go sir. to that bridge. Hey. Dear God, please, Prince Ian won't let me go home. Hey, Sarah Murphy. Thank you. Let me Glad to see you here for far. A little bigger. Okay. All right. Okay. By the uh, way, you're uh, you're roboting out a little bit here and there on my end. Really? But I don't know if that's that could be my connection. So we'll we'll see. All right, chat. Let me know if the same thing happens to you. Okay. You mm -hmm. gave your family tinfoil wrapped chocolate eggs, but swapped a few out with cherry tomatoes as your April Fool's Day prank. Wow. Fandom good. Is very good. Good. Hey, random double zero factor. I like that because I do think the best kind of April Fool's prank, like, if you'd coated the tomato with chocolate, that'd be kind of a dick move. But just mm -hmm. unwrapping a foil egg to a tomato is inherently funny and harmless. Mm -hmm. I think doing goofy, harmless bits that are just silly is the best way to do this kind of thing. Which I have to admit, I do think the Teletubbies doing the NFT thing and actually for real donating for charity is a pretty good mm -hmm. example of this. Yeah, that was cute. Okay. That was mostly cute because I'm like, I like that people bought it for a minute. Are we all set? Yeah, are you all set? Do we want to get, get in? in? Yeah, did you get in? Yeah, 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 the code's in. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, there you <laughs> Sorry, are. Sorry, I just now got to the animation for the raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we all set for the farm? I'm all set. Okay. Hold on. Male wife asks, if I had to kill a big beast, I would use landmines. Is that a thing you can do in Monster yes. Haunter? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Actually, yes. Also, you can, you can throw a big rules. wad of shit at You can just throw a big wad of shit at a monster if you want yeah. to. Yeah, so if that can. tickles your fancy... Let's get <sighs> going, though. Okay. Sounds good. We would never... <sighs> Good Christ, it's taking a while to load today. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess so. Mm hmm. Uh huh. I'd like to see that too. Yeah. I'm just drinking my tea, y'all. I'm just like waiting for it to load in, drinking my tea. We're talking, we're, we're playing farm game. Yeah. Oh, Frankie Silent? Frankie no, was drinking tea. Can you hear me now? Man, this update added a lot of new monsters. Okay, is that a better or worse hair pet than what Alex has? Not Alex, not Alex. Other guy, hair guy. Can they not hear? <laughs> I can see you, your levels. Well, I've seen two different people say that I'm silent. No one can hear me. Snail has just confirmed I can't be heard. Go figure, like, today of all day we'd have a bugs. Okay, you can hear me, you can hear me, you can hear me. I might have just been quiet while I was drinking my tea. So, we're gonna play some Stardew Valley, okay? Good. okay? Mm -hmm. We're playing farm game. Yeah, no, I was just quiet for- I appreciate y'all pointing it out, though. It has been a problem before. I don't think it should be tonight, like, Stardew Valley, like, as far as the strain on my internet goes and everything, it's just not that bad. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I said I was already gonna marry Alex, but... I mean... Uh, hmm. I do like a mean boy. They're making me redo to my character before I log mm. in. Hang on. That's fucked up. Yeah. Okay, good. They can't all hear me. It's just okay. a hell of a stream play today, for some reason. I don't know why. That seems weird. Um, okay, we're on the beach farm, right? Yeah, yeah, regular beach farm. Okay, just making sure. Uh, hang on, I have to re-enter my name. I don't know why they're doing yeah, this no problem. whole, uh, login thing. I know, I love the valley. Yeah, okay, plant growth on, obviously, it's a farming game. Okay. Hey, while you're remaking your character, can I get a side stream so I can at least, like, hear some music? Because I'm just, like, waiting for it to load me oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No problem. There we go, there we go. Hey, Hollow Monster, you're just in time for farm. Yeah. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Oh, you're reading the starting lines now? I mean, it's like new content. Yeah, it seems oh, okay. like. 
fair that there should be like some voicing for it. <laughs> Thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Our own holy father then gave up his mortal form so that Melroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe! No mods, this is pretty vanilla. Yeah. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrick before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Yeah, Mayor Lewis, I don't know about this, like... What would you even call this? What kind of clothing is that? It's like a poncho? Yeah, it's kind of like a, like a, a poncho Like robe. a fucked up poncho. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Hey, thank you for the shapes. I'm glad you love Stardew Valley. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say! We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin! Thank you, Leon the Cowboy. This is my favorite game. I mean, I love Stardew Valley, Yay. says Leon. I love Stardew Valley, too. I'm glad to be playing it for y'all. This... I feel the same way. This is one of my favorite games. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Praise be to Malroth! Is this like what all that fucked up cave writing was about, maybe? Yeah, this is the uh, extended cave DLC. Oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of oblivion. Wait, hold on, oblivion? That's not the right game. <laughs> Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. That's fucked up. Grandpa Evan, you, you sometimes you have to do bites. This is just true. <laughs> We're not playing Sky Bugs. You are the hero who will save this world. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh, Grandpa's looking good. Oh, Grandpa, you're not looking good. Look on your face! I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? No, I'm a farmer. Yes, I know. <laughs> you're telling fibulas now. I've got it on good authority that you're a builder, so you can drop the act. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually got just the job for a for a creature like you. Are you a bug? That's fucked up. <laughs> Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. We gotta replace our beds. This is looking like some fucking our living farm situation here. Oh boy. I do kind of like the skull though. I, I no... like I like having skull decorations. I do too. There's no response. It's just a skeleton. <laughs> Finally, I can romance Papyrus in Stardew Valley. I mean, we wish. Bugs peeks inside the pot. Who if? What a Bugs? pong. This must be the toilet. Uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, if it's okay, could you handle, like, the item description type stuff? Absolutely, absolutely. Also, Papyrus doesn't sound like this! Papyrus sounds like this! You'll know if we ever get to meet him. Hello. Oh yeah, piss jokes! We love piss jokes! Oh Ooh. hey. Builder! Builder! I have something to tell you. Do you know that you can run by holding ZH while you move around with left trigger? 
I am sure the extra speed will come in handy. But take care near high ledges, or you'll meet your maker sooner rather than later. It's nice that they have like this on ramp for the new uh, added material. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Hey, bud. Ah, the builder. Tell me, creature, do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? Oh, we're on a boat. Okay. Yeah, These waters the, are cursed. This is the Ginger Island. Thing Strange. I was about. Oh, right, Ginger yeah. Island. I thought we weren't. I, th I thought we were really far from that. It's nice to know that we're doing better than I thought. Yeah. Strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanished into vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Now, are you scared? Please be scared. Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. <laughs> I love you. Okay, dude. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. I can't help but overhear you hobnobbling with that dreadful dead knot. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was gonna ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off this ship, but you're too- you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out. Rude. And, uh, dude in the back- Oh, why in the goddess's name did I ever become a builder? If oh, I'd sorry, I didn't realize there was the dude in the back. No, no, it's okay. Oh, why in the goddesses? Okay, okay. Uh, oh, go for it. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Do the thing! Oh, why in the goddess's name did I ever become a builder? If I'd been a farmer or a miner instead, I've never been left to rot in a stinking cell. We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished, that they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? Sniff. Yeah. I love when they do the sound effects. No, this is Stardew Valley. Oh yeah, to be. This is Stardew Valley. This is this is what this is farm game. We're playing this tonight. Yeah. We will farm. We will farm eventually. We just have to get through like a lot of stuff first, like all yeah. the introductory stuff. This is with I the think we already. Oh, is this new doc? Like, builder. Builder. I have something to tell you. Press A when you want to examine something, or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die. In case you've never played a video game before. Oh, and one more thing. Could you ask that girl on the brig to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does she expect me to rest in peace when she's... Being so noisy. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, this is the Stardew Valley HD graphics overlay mod. You can find it on the Nexus if you look it up. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, kind of hard to install though. I can't really pause the game uh, because we're in multiplayer mode. Um, but you can look it up on your own time. Yeah, I, I'll be able to join after all the cutscenes are done. It's kind of one of those situations. This is where we store our cargo. Real slime guys like me call it the home. Please live on our farm. Please, please live on our farm. Please? Say, you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff just from a few bits and bobs. I don't know how you builders do it. As the magnificent Hargoon said, destruction. <clears throat> destruction awaiteth all that is built. To think of all that hard work going to waste. Yeah, Puzz, I like how the new Dreaminos look too. Oh yeah, you have a controller shaped like one of these weird Dreaminos. I do actually, yeah. It it is uh It is the perfect piece. It's it's one of the most uncomfortable things in my life. <laughs> I do love it. <laughs> We're, we are, of course, going to avoid talking to the quest marker until after we've talked to everyone else on the ship. That is tradition. Hi. Hey. Oh, Almighty Hargon! 
one. How do those hated humans ever manage to defeat you? <laughs> Did the whole world not power before you obliterated Moonbrook? Ah, uh, if only I'd risen from my grave in High Priest Hargor's heyday, I would have led an undeath of luxury instead of being stuck here in the skeleton crew. Get that it? Fuck, man. It's a skeleton crew on the yeah. ship. Do you get yeah. it? Do y'all like puns? Do you like puns? Do you like it? Do you like puns? <laughs> yeah, this is Stardew Valley, Benry. This is start every Thursday we play Stardew Valley. We've done like 20 hours of gameplay. Yeah, so we far. do farm game. Yeah. Oh jeez, yeah. Have you heard? Uh been boning up, have you? John then smarty pants. What have these monsters done to legally distinct Benny? He's fine. We're doing cutscenes right now. Or yeah. like, you know, holds. Hey, Benny's at home. Have you heard? I'd give you a quick history lesson then. In an age <clears throat> In an age long since past, the world was ruled by the iron fist of a king among kings. The mighty Dragon Lord. I was one of his loyal foot soldiers, but the master I so valiantly served was vanquished at the hands of some hotshot hero. So when High Priest Hargon rose to power, I wasted no time signing up to join his dishonorable ranks. Alas, even he was destined for defeat. Just my luck. Now the other skeletons look down on me for switching sides. I'm even starting to think the downfall of those great leaders could be something to do with me. Oh, buddy. Buddy. It's not your fault, man. Just, that's how it goes when you're a mook, man. Yep. Hey, can I have the small? Uh, yep, we could do, like, some cleaning. Oh, those steam alerts, huh? Yeah. Bored, bored, bored. Yeah. I'm bored beyond belief. I'm going out of my skull with boredom, I tell you. It's nothing but ocean everywhere I turn. Water over this way. Water over that way. Just give me something to look at that's not the blooming horizon. Skeletherapy. Yeah. Just a little. Hey, can we steer? Please? 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 We've never asked before. Hi. Please. We're so little and small. <laughs> a human! <laughs> what are you doing up here? Are you... Just, I... Hold on. Are you giving off work too? I just love telling truant, and I don't care who knows. Caught off guard there by the phonetics. <laughs> Being as you're here, I may as well ask, have you spoken to the rest of the crew? For a menagerie of monsters, they're a friendly bunch, wouldn't you say? I just worry they've gone a bit soft since... Hargon was overthrown and peace return. But you better not get the you better not get the wrong idea. Humans and monsters were never meant to mix. We're enemies. Always have been. Always will be. Have you heard of a little game called Undertale? It's this little Let me game. explain the whole plot. Okay, so it starts you're you're a human, right? And you fall down this hole like this. Look what you've done with the skeletons from the cave. You gave them anxiety. Fuck. Oh, fall damage, huh? Hi. That's fucked up. Hells, bells! What a storm we had last night! It washed all the torches overboard and scattered my bedrooms around the deck. Oh no. That's 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 fucked up, man. I beg your pardon. You say you slept right through it? Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. 
and it's dialogue. <laughs> yeah. It would have been. I I was waiting for the fall damage to kick in. <laughs> Builder! B Builder! I have something to tell you! If you ever get stuck or can't figure out what to do next, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life. And the next. Middenhall, Canuck, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did come the hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, who laid almighty Hargon low. Josh and the Zombies, it's Stardew Valley. This is Stardew Valley night. I know it looks different, it's but it's the HD pack. Mm -hmm. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. That's sad, man. Sorry. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say! Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow, but one day, we will reduce this world to ruin. I mean, in Stardew, it's always been kind of fucked up that, like, there's this suggestion of, like, this wider world and, like, this war going on. It's nice to finally get some context, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. He Hello, Goomin! <laughs> We're the last surviving members of the children of Hargoon, the ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring this world to its knees, all in the name of the goo great and goo glorious High Priest. And I'm not making slurping noises anymore. <laughs> I can't do that to you. What's with all the slurping? Fuck! I'm just <laughs> salivating at the prospect of squashing you cool means once and for all. Oh. Knock it off. I got a show to run here. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> fine, fine. You get, fine, we're getting we're just this last one because I do have tea in my hand. <sighs> That's all we're getting. So That's all good. the sound crimes for this night. Ugh. <laughs> this ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit sick. What's that? You want to know what we're s sailing to? I haven't the funniest. The higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little dracky. That's fucked up, man. Yep. Well, 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 if it isn't Little Myth Builder, you're only an apprentice, but you're prancing about like you own the place. Sir, your tongue. Sir, maybe Sir, if you like put tongue. your tongue back in your mouth. Please. Honestly, you can't go anywhere these days without bumping into an insolent little builder, hell's bent on undo. I'm trying to do it with my tongue out of my mouth, it's not uh -huh. working. Uh -huh. On undoing all of our hard work. The world's going down the pan, that's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you, one by one. <laughs> You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Cantrain, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end is nigh. <laughs> Oh wait, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, same dialogue. I think we've hit literally everyone but the dude for the quest. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello, hi. Hey, I almost died. I How's almost it going? died. <laughs> Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good human down. <laughs> No, 
now, as you no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you'd get very far, anyway. They're nothing but skin and bones. Hey. Rude. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you, Captain. Oh, oh teams thank you. Tell. Thanks. Bugs can't remember when they last ate. The thought of food makes their stomach start rumbling. Eh. Oh man, those hair choices. Mm. Yum. So I like good. the captain, honestly. I like the captain too. Down in one! That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff such a scrumptious snack. Because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be get hard graft? For you to be getting on with first, sir? Sir? What's what's Hello? that? What's what's hard graft? What is hardcraft? That's very scary. Complete! Complete! <laughs> you can wipe that lily-livered look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. Sir, what's craft? What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are, without a paddle, I might add, go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag of the... Sir, we already did. Sir? Mm. Oh. It's the same dialogue again. Yeah, it is. Not yeah. reading this again. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the game makes us talk to Stardew Valley makes us talk to the monsters. This is new DLC, I don't know it actually. Yeah. So. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm definitely not doing those slurping noises again. What? What sound so crimes. Mean. So mean to the viewers. <laughs> So you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Obedient little blighter, aren't you? Well, hello, Detective Defective, just in time for Stardew Valley. Hey! Uh, we haven't gotten to the farming part yet. We're still getting through this, like, introduction to the new content. Yeah. It might be a little bit, but, yeah. uh, you know. So now you know. We're the last survivors of the Children of Hargod, loyal servants of the mighty Master of Destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Sir, eh, you want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Uh, only the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. Make make no what's about it, sir. Make no what what's about it. Make no mistake. Why? What did I say? What did I say? Still, that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. Hooray! Yay! I like Yay. it when the quest says it's done. I love it when the Take it over the mayor. Down. Sir, can you be our new mayor? Please. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, you'll do as I say. Yeah, this is Stardew Valley, Kalish. Minecraft. 
craft doesn't look like this. Yeah. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop chop, skeleton pun. Oh, I have to beat it with my fists. Oh, this is so indignant. <laughs> God. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a good little, like, karate chop you got going there, honestly. The, the builder isn't trusted with, I mean, the farmer isn't trusted with tools in this DLC, so I had to just beat it with my meaty little oh. hands. It's that thing where it's like, you know, whatever, like, level you're at when you hit the DLC, everyone deals with it about the same. Yeah. Well, well, my deck looks much better now that you've picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh, sir? No, no, Josh. This is this is Stardew Valley, sir. Still, I suppose being given the ch chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the coccyx. So I think that's against TOS. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind. But considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Hey! Thank you for the resubscription, Cryptid Shuffle. It does look like Stardew Valley, doesn't it? I don't know why it's not playing Thank your you. audio for it that. It looks very much like Stardew Valley. <clears throat> Anyways, it's not like you're a proper builder, rude. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. He wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Uh, uh, anyways, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. Don't you mean gnaw on the bone? If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you consider working like the dutiful little farmer you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. I feel like he keeps forgetting that we're his prisoner. <laughs> He's just like accidentally wandering into giving us actually good advice. Thank you, Captain. I love you, Captain. You're my friend, Captain. Captain Thank you, Captain. You. Take a photo with me on the deck. Or the mast. Yeah. Please, Please Captain? Please, I don't Captain. know what part of the ship this is. No! Oops. Bugs? Hang on. Hey, bugs. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hang on. Hang uh -huh. on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh -huh. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> they have to have a plan for people like me, right? I think the plan is for you to drown. No, no. No, no. No, no. Uh-huh. No, no. Uh -huh. I've never drowned in the video game. <laughs> Man <laughs> overboard! It's the builder! Drag them out of the drink, lads! This is their plan. Ah, ha, ha. <sighs> uh, Bugs wakes up on the deck of the ship. The captain must have rescued them before they drowned. Great. Wow, you saved our lives. We Thank we you, owe you captain. a life debt now. Yeah, captain. Thank you. Oh, he's kissing me on the forehead. Hey, oh. Cap hey, Captain, by any chance, do you like salad? Do you like salad warm from a pocket, Captain? Mmm, delicious pocket Flowers, salad. perhaps? Oh, I forgot about the lock-on feature. <laughs> In Stardew Valley. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the damn Captain. <laughs> You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that shell, you've been scurrying about my deck and chattering with my crew without a care in the world. <laughs> Dust the zombies says they owe him a life debt and it's his problem now. <laughs> You're right. We'll You're right. follow you to the end of the world, Captain. No, we're going to kill you. I'll die for you, Captain. <laughs> if anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. 
There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. What about love, sir? I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisoners be scared witless. Not you. Is that really a smile? What's a smile? What's a smile? Look at that it's, face. It's, that's yes. a very lovable face on our farmer. You're smiling. The flat affect. <laughs> this to monsters. This is like beaming. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Oh, it is quite the car. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Sorry, what were you gonna say? Oh, just that there's a hell of a contrast. Yeah. Hmm, seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you sorted them out. Hooray! Yay. Oh God, the camera is so Yay. close. Quest! Oh! The oh, first person mode. Oh, oh Captain. Oh, first person started Valley. That's fucked up. Yeah, this update's pretty cool. Okay, there we go. That's a livable distance. Oh, wow. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you could find. Hi, Mom. Hi, Shelly. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some torches. Do you see the worn out the worn out workbench over there? Use it to make five torches. Here! I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Yeah, I'm sorry about the delay. There's nothing I can do on my end. Captain is handsome. There's really nothing we can do about it. Literally all it means is that we're gonna respond to chat slower than usual. So just have a little patience with us about it, and we'll be good. Mm -hmm. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. Okay, do you think that slime feels nervous about all the oil? The yeah, five black box blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench, and four more around the stairs that lead below deck. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, Builder! Craft the five torches and put them in place! Return to me when you finish the task. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Okay! Uh, so, the re so the reason I joked about the slime feeling nervous about this is that in this definitely DLC for Stardew Valley, and definitely not anything else, yeah. uh, Oil is usually gotten from defeating slimes. <laughs> usually. So, the fact that usually. this little dude... Hey, where did the uh -huh. slime come from? Because typically it's a drop of, like, one per slime. Yeah, three. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. I do really love that satisfying, you put it in the right place sound. Yeah, it's very good. <clears throat> it seems you have done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more. Sinister, if I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. This is like the same attitude as when like you're big goth getting your first apartment and you have to just like install normal lamps. Yeah. yeah. I must say, your your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are other aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Oh, for prayer? 
did she feel so pretty? Uh, I never know what to do at a new church. I never know what to do at any in, church. Uh, in farming, farming be thy name. Real talk. Like crops I was done. raised wildly outside of. I was raised wildly outside of any kind of church. The fucking like, it's like jump. It's like if you'd never heard the hokey pokey before. As the valley is as it is oh. in the garden. You it's... would have expected slimes to be mostly made of water. No, they're oil-based, weirdly enough. So, uh, my family is Catholic. I'm, I'm not really Catholic, but oh. like, when my family goes to church, I do it too because I sure, love my sure. family. Sure, um, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this has changed, but it used to be that uh, it would be like, you know, Christ be with you and also with you. Um, the problem mm -hmm. is, uh, on the Star Tours ride, um, there's a person who comes out oh, no. pre-show. And tells you to be safe with the uh, with the ride, and uh, says, "May the force be with you." The problem is that, out of reflex, me and every other like Catholic raised person who rides this ride usually replies, "And also with you." Yeah. So now it's like also with bugs the fall damage. Dear God. Huh? Oh yeah. Oops. <clears throat> Scuttling around up there. Oh yeah, slimes are oily. Yeah. Well, if it isn't the so-called Builder, anyone would think you owned the place the way you're strutting around this deck. What if the attitude? Oh. Hey, thank you for the follow, Scorn Insomnia. Thank you. You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders, and you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relive... The b relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship, as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Yay! Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Sir? Vegeta, it's gotta be because of Star Wars. It's gotta be fucking because of Star Wars. Anyway. It must be. It must be. Stardew this looks one? different. Yeah, it's the HD uh, mod update pack. Yeah, <clears throat> this is you can find it on the Nexus if you search Stardew HD Remaster mod. It just came out. Um, yeah, this guy sure does want us to just this kind of shoving a toddler into the pit, huh? With a knife. You can go into the next line unless did did me reading it not go through? It can. Okay. Oh, you. Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill them, eh? <laughs> oh, you have no idea how much time Bugs has spent fighting skeletons. <laughs> Alright! Better put them dukes up, I warn you, though. That skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished. If you can still walk. Uh, this is definitely Stardew Valley, but what other game name would you call this game for fun? Um, well, they keep calling you Builder, and they said something about, like, some kind of dragon lord used to be the big bad, and we're definitely on, like, some kind of quest, but this isn't our first time playing this game, so I think it's definitely Punchy Smashy Poochy Poochy uh, 2016. Yeah, but if someone were to be <coughs> looking up this game, um, perhaps to buy it, or to, to play a very, very long demo. Which is maybe very maybe nice, the category may change to reflect the name of this mod. Yeah, yeah, we'll make it so uh, y'all can look it up real quick because <clears throat> maybe people could play it. Maybe people could play it. Maybe you could play it. Maybe you could play this game that we love a lot called Stardew Valley. Definitely Stardew Valley. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't actually bode well for your future career, does it? Sorry for missing the first bit of that dialogue. It's okay. Lucky you don't have a future to speak of at all! <laughs> Alright, be off with you! Go and tell the bosun what a weakling you are! What? What? It's, do not do not buy any new video game called Harvest Moon. It's yeah, Story of Seasons now. <laughs> Harvest Moon is a stolen name that's used for shitty phone games now, sadly. It's Tulip? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, speaking of, I'm actually going to try to get this guy from the PS3 store before it vanishes. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. Is... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Did they fucking sneak in a reference? <laughs> I was going to say, farmer, you will fight like a cow. <laughs> you fight like a cow, farmer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you'd had a weapon? <laughs> a likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull for one of those torches? You're such a whiz at whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you've got there? <laughs> Eureka! Bugs learns a new recipe. What if I used a stick to hurt people? <laughs> hey, what if I used a big stick and just smashed your fucking head in? <clears throat> Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. <clears throat> you what? You just worked out how to make a, cy a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Sir, we didn't invent a stick. It's a stick! Well, don't just stand around looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick, then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. The weapon's no use otherwise. I love all these terrifying monsters that are just like, now you know how to equip things, right? Have you eaten food? Are you okay? Oh no, we have to rescue you from the water. <laughs> <laughs> God, what if the builder, what if the farmer really is fucking writing a diary? Oh, God. I do love that I just have my Dear fucking diary. Yeah. They just, they just let this fucking, like, human run around with a big fucking bat. Good for them, I say. Uh, I'm just, I'm just reminded of, you know that one clip from fucking, uh, cow and chicken? Chicken? Dear diary, you is not going to believe what I am about to write in you. <laughs> oh, this is going in my Woke up on skeleton oh, clip. Vegeta. Fuck. Yeah, the builder's writing a- uh, the farmer's writing a slam diary. The bug genius returns! Cypress stick in hands! Now you really look the part! Stardew Wardew, exactly, pets. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Fancy another crack at that old bag of bones? Now you've got a weapon? I can hear you, you know! <laughs> I'm- I'm right over here! Hmm. Do we want to do violence? Do we want to do violence? Yeah, let's do a little violence. Just a little violence. As a treat. Also, um, double. <laughs> you're right, zero factor. That's the spirit. I want to watch that rotter try to put himself back together once you're through with him. Monsters. We hate humans so much. Also, monsters. Are you okay? Do you need water? Snacks? Sticks? <laughs> Beat him up. Kill them! Destroy! Oh, violence! Kill! Kill! Bite! Violence! God, so this is what you're doing all the time when I'm, like, farming? Yeah. Fuck up. Ugh, a bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after that one. Go on, then, bug. Go and drag about beating me to the boat. Go and brag about beating me to the bosun. I thought he said drag, and he was saying to, like, drag his corpse over to the bosun. Real quick, um, Virtual Pets is noting in chat, for those of you who are experiencing a uh, uh, lag delay, that if you refresh, um, it should be a lot less laggy. Yay! Love to see it. Twitch is a fun program. It's fun. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding! Get it? Like, like Skid? Just look at the state of him! The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog! Are you, like, is, sir, 
Is the skeleton is the soldier skeleton being bullied? So hey, throw him on the board. <laughs> Rattle your bones if you're in danger. If you do not feel safe. What? You feel a bit sorry for him. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> a new one! I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Uh, once again, Undertale. Anyways, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. Y'all need, like, some board games. Yeah. I even think I learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight. With a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. Can, can you sneeze? See, we gotta go to a fucking barbecue joint and bring back that game where it's the triangle with the golf picks inside of it and give them like 50 on the ship and everything will be fine. But you're not done for the day just yet. Not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Bones! <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> the translator was like reading Undertale fanfics on AO3 for research. No, uh, legitimately, the localizers for this Stardew Valley patch clearly just get to have like enough fun with this series of patches to Stardew Valley mm -hmm. that they get to do some really good dumb jokes. Yeah, honestly. Okay, nothing up here. It's not this guy. This guy just wants to be left mm -hmm. alone while he slacks mm -hmm. off. Dun, 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 dun. Can Skelebone sneeze? I don't know. Mm. I'm. I feel. I feel like they. They don't have to, but sometimes they do. Like, when it feels like. Oh God, there's no response. It's just a pile of bones. Uh, sir? Yep. Definitely just a pile of bones. You'll get no response out of me. Go away. I'm taking a <laughs> nap. You ever get so tired of being bullied that you just pretend to be dead? Yes. Hey! I think hi. it's just that guy up deck. What if I hit? No. Okay. Hi, buddy! Touch my head. Yeah! Okay. Oh, I love a good head pat. I do too. My, my! You have been a busy little lady, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? And then the builder just like bursts out crying. <laughs> are you okay, builder? Do you have water? Perhaps we could get you a nice little scarf. Hmm? Perhaps a juice snack. Alas, not other than that simple cypress stick. You have it a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Can I borrow your stick? Well, I think we ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they are yours. Oh, oh sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. We... With these equipped, you'll be capable of hosting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. He, this man, this man stole his clothing from someone else. I feel really low. And we're taking it. Happily. So, without further ado, take your new found gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgledy piggledy about the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. Now, what kind of ultimate evil says higgledy piggledy? <laughs> I do too. Do these monsters secretly just care about this one farmer? They seem like they're getting really fond really fast. Are we just like the- I feel like farmer is just the first human that has like responded in ways other than screaming and crying and they're not sure what to do about it. Yeah, they are being forcefully adopted by this human. <laughs> mm. The like, family will aha! find you, you cannot resist. They're like, aha! Are you not screaming in terror? No, you're just kind of having a good time. Are 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 you okay? 
Perhaps a juice box and some Lunchables? Yeah! Yeah! Ca from non binary in chat, Captain. I've only known bugs for five minutes, and if anything happened to them, I would throw all my crew overboard and then myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful work! Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. Sucks to be that guy I stole them from. <laughs> I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrel millennials. But based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. <laughs> yeah, bugs? <laughs> Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder. The eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. But what if what if we could just be friends? It would appear you've attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry up and inform the good chap captain. They require some more back back breaking chores. Oh boy! Yay! Yay! I love labor. I love labor. Not, not bad. Not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Oh shit! I love hanging with the lads. I love hanging with the lads. Nice to see a human working their fingers to the bone for us monsters, and without a word of complaint, neither. If I doubted before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? <laughs> Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course you do! It's what gets you out of the bed in the morning. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You're so expressive. I can read you like a book. <laughs> You've got the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. No, I'm, I'm shitty. More, I'm, I don't know how to make anything. Don't look in the book. Well... What with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything? I can't exactly have you running bow to stern building like Billio, now can I? Billio? Sir? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now! Any second now! <laughs> Just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, so long as you stay on my good side, that is. No, oh, Captain. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin bug. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib, the twist of your sails, the nautical reference of your general thingness. <laughs> what do you say, lassie? <laughs> Will you join my skeleton crew? Yes, yes, yes. a thousand yes. times yes. You don't have to say anything. I can tell from your face you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. How do those pigtails work? <laughs> What's that big book you're looking around? I've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> Some of it's improv. Huh? Where'd this rain come from? The sky, Captain. <laughs> wow! You'll have to tell me later, lassie. Looks like there's another storm running in. Uh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Ah, an apprentice builder. 
you will do nicely. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. This is better not be the goddess, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what she sounds like. Now, come to me, my child. Oh, you're right. Those aren't pigtails. Those are antenna. Random double zero factor. Oh, that's right. Oi, cloth ears. What are you gawking at? Don't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks and into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a land lover like you. Oh, hey, do you need someone to walk you down? Captain. On my honor as the captain of this ship, I'll never see my crewmate sent to the bottom of the bride, even if it costs me my life. And as my new cabin bug, that includes you, Builder! Just let you die. Not here. Not this night. Now, get your bony behind below decks. Pass to the brig and take shelter in the hold. Captain's orders! Builder. Builder. I have a question to ask you. This better not be repeat dialogue. What would happen if a specter like me were to sink to the bottom of the sea? Would I drown? Mm, I don't think so. I think you just haunt the sea. How very unusual. After last night's tempest, I thought we had sailed well clear of stormy waters. I'd watch my footing if I were you, Builder, lest you get hurled into the raging waves. Now do as the good captain says, and hurry to the hold, as fast as those little legs will carry you! I love these monsters so much. They do too. They love the farmer. <laughs> they love farmer. I hope you're not back here thinking you'll get a response from me. You need to get your lumpy rump to the hold and take shelter before you end up like me! I don't know, it looks cozy, man. How do I dislocate my head? <laughs> Nothing like a little wind and rain to break the tedium of a long voyage at sea. Bring on the storm, I say! <laughs> that said, the water is starting to look a tad choppy for my liking. Maybe calm seas and a bit of monosony are the way forward, after all. God, you know what that just reminds me of? Huh. Captain Fever. God, yeah. We were yeah. sailing, sailing <laughs> on the way. <laughs> <laughs> the wind was on our side. Da 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 da. And then it then died. It died. <laughs> <laughs> This is just Muppet Treasure Island all over again. Wah! Are you trying to give me a heart attack? What if I lost my footing and fell into the drink, eh? Would you dive in and pick my bones up off the ocean floor? Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> oh, Puzz, you did? We, oh, no. we just watched that the other night, too. <laughs> did I just get a song stuck in, like, 20 people's heads? Sorry. <laughs> We've got cabin fever. No ifs, ands, or buts, anyways. <laughs> Turns out when you watched a movie like 20,000 times as a kid, some of the, your favorite song sticks. <laughs> and yes, we would go rescue that skeleton, obviously. That's true. Ah! Have you seen the sky, human? The clouds are racing by. And there's an ominous electricity in the air. This is no ordinary storm. Let me tell you. Speaking of which, what are you doing all the way up here? Are you insane? Silly me, of course you are. I swear, we'll be lucky to survive this one. <laughs> I don't know how to do the screech noises any other way. Bear with me. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> Also, well, I appreciate your restraint and not letting way. go of the ladder just because you'd survive it now. 
Just let me know if you need me to grab anyone, by the way. I'm having grand fun. Okay, okay. Honestly. Yeah, as long as you're not hurting yourself, we'll, then we'll, hell we'll yeah. probably just, like... Yeah, we'll probably just, uh... I know where we'll take a break. One minute, we're happily blooping along the waves. The next, we're slap bang in the middle of a horrendous storm. Weeboom. Heem Whimper. Why am I whippling so much? That's what slimes do when we're scared. Well, we do it when we're not scared as well, but that's more of a wobble than a wibble. Wibble, wibble, wibble. Hee <laughs> wibble. Uh, this stor storm is making me feel seasick. Wait, you're flying. Wait, you're flying? <laughs> Hold Sir, on, you're flying. flying. <laughs> Quick! Someone bring me a bucket before this deck gets a fresh splash of varnish. Gross. Gross! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here before we have to figure out what he just did. Uh, I, I'm not scared of a silly little storm like this. Honestly, I'm not. I'm... Certain this ship is built as sturdy as they come. There's no way she'll stink. <laughs> Isn't that right, Builder? Please tell me we'll survive the storm. Oh, baby. Just we're just gonna tuck you into my backpack, okay? Yeah, we're gonna call you Fit. Ah! Come with me, okay? Fuck. <laughs> not another storm! I'm not so I like, weather this one. Please, Hagen, don't let me die. I'll do anything you ask of me. I swear. What's that you say? Kill the builder? <laughs> <laughs> one atrocious storm is bad enough, but two in quick succession is an ill omen indeed. This vessel may be smashed to splinters before the day is out. Good, I say, for are we not the children of Hargan, dedicated dis disciples of the Master of Destruction himself? But bad, I also say, <laughs> for were we to sink, what would become of our illustrious order? Would destruction itself be destroyed? What a perplexing paradox. This man True. is having a philosophical breakdown on deck. <laughs> Huh, huh, huh. The sea is rough once more, it would seem. My grandfather always told me that there is not more capricious than the open ocean, the weather and high mountains, or a giantess's mood. Ho what did your grandpa Hello? get up to? Hello? Which is why I'll be riding this storm out down here. There is no shame in letting fear get the better of you on occasion. Now leave me be. I'm thinking about giantesses. You know what? Okay, I will leave you be, actually. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Ooh, what an awful storm. I've never seen the ship shake and shudder so. If you're looking to hide in the hold, it's just at the end of this corridor. Hurry, farmer! Or oh, this chat might be your last. The haunted mansion. How oh, sick we can take our new friend with us. Do not smash the toilet. Do not smash the toilet. Do not smash the toilet. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got a buddy! Now he's got a buddy! What, what in the world is happening out there? But oh, we're doomed! Doomed, I say! What a way to go! Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the mother of all storm strikes! My luck runs dry when I'm about to get soaked! Great! 
You builder, now's not the time to be rubbing your freedom in our faces. Put a stop to all this shaking or I shall be very cross. See, this is why Frank. Game, you've gotta let us in. Game, at least be like pink haired girl, dude in the back, other yeah. dude in the back. Yeah, I, I'm like looking at like. You're killing us. Moving. Builder! Builder! Though the storm may set your spine a tingle, you need not fear! Our captain is the finest sailor the children of Hargon has ever had! This ship will be safe with him at the help. Oh, I would trust captain with my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Follow his orders and you'll live to see another day. But if you rock the boat, well, let's just say... I hope you can swim! Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sure swim is really the spooky word I'm with you, there. buddy! Oh, hey, hey thanks for the raid, Red Lagoon! Thank Good you to see you. We're, We're playing, playing farm Valley. game. It, yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, turns out the boat to that, like, new island thing takes a while. Mm-hmm. Wah! What the heck's going on? I don't know who's talking! Oh shit! K -k -k -cap captain Come to the hold, quickly! We're in deep goo-goo depth! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Blame me! I don't like the sound of this! Hold tight! I'm on my way! You are right there, farmer? Ah! But I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. Let's go. Hargan, preserve us. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here pronto. I need your help. Captain, can you stop referring to her ass so much? Please? Please? Oh. Over here, Builder! Look at this Minecraft-ass water! <laughs> yeah, even even the way it... Oh, <laughs> the, the physics cracked me up. But, Builder, you've got to do something! I'm going to get squashed into the ocean, and I don't know how to swim! Maybe. Can we just pick up the slimes and take them with us? We're talking. What took you so long, eh? I, I think I had a concussion. <laughs> We've got bad news, Builder! We've been swept right into a reef, and a rock's gone clean through the hole! If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones's locker. I don't know if this'll work, but tr try cramming a crate into that hole! You've got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them! That's a desperate fix method. Just shove this crate into the wall. <laughs> oh shit, those sconces are dope, though. That was a closer shave than I'd have liked, but you did it! You saved my... Oh, throw me a bone. Not more holes. Skeleton. Bone. Ah! We're taking on more water! You've got something or we're boned! Use some more crates and plug those holes up! Yeah, that's right, I'm adding more skeleton puns. Great, thank you. <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, I'm so short, my little legs. At least you've got legs. That's true. You're a lifesaver, builder! Or, you're a lifesaver! Builder or no, I owe you one! But I'll run in if that rock has made mincemeat of my hole. The next wave that hits us could... Shit. Ah! I knew it! It's a race against time, Builder! Cram some more crates in those holes, and hurry! Hey, Mick Sanguine, we're playing Stardew Valley. For yeah, sure. Stardew Valley. Definitely. Hi. Hi. Oh boy, wood. No! No! 
<laughs> Wait, is there one over? Oh, there This is what happens if you let a human hot. aboard ship. Sometimes they just... They just... What are you doing? Wood. No! Wood. No! Wood. Oh, it's boy. sinking! The ship is act... That's wood from the hole being destroyed! Oh boy, wood. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, I Savage found wood. creatures, these humans! <laughs> oh yeah, we finished the quest. You shored up my ship good and proper, farmer! I don't know where we'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much longer it could possibly last. Oh shit. Oh, fuck me. We're done for. Holy, holy! Look at that one! We don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole that size! This is it, Builder! It was nice knowing you! Don't forget me! Builder! Something I just noticed. He throws up a shield around you right before. No! He puts it in front of you. Well, shit. <laughs> Who are all those people? Concerned Ape. He made this game. Oh, that's right. Wow, he did a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, side note, this is actually a slight reference to uh, when Christianity was being, like, stamped down on in Japan, uh, you would actually be tested by being, like, told to smash a statue of the Virgin Mary. Or, like, really? step on a Bible. Really? Yeah, dead ass. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Which a lot of, like, surviving Japanese Christians would just bite the bullet and do what they had to do. That's some fun, uplifting trivia for this intro to definitely Stardew Valley. Man, this animation style does look dope, though. It's, like, not quite cell-shaded, mm -hmm. but it's also not quite, like, the toy look of, uh... Link to the, the... You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's I, a I nice like kind it. of middle ground. It really looks nice. Yeah, for Stardew Valley. Yeah. This is the Stardew Valley HD cutscene. Normal. <laughs> Where's Captain? Uh, we have to go to hell to find Captain. It, it's gonna be tough, but we are going to do it. Oh, Captain, oh, Captain. I love Hell, too. I, I, I also love Hell. I think it is cool. I'm gonna high-five Lil Nas on his way down there, too. <laughs> Can you imagine? I, everyone's been doing those, like, oh, POV from hell, but I want to see someone just, like, doing the up-top motion about it. Mm -hmm. That's the loading bar uh, for Stardew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got a Gmino on it now. Yeah. Oh, the captain saved us. Oh. Bugs awakens on a sandy shore. It seems they washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. They decide to have a no. look around to see what they can see. I like to think that that's just the farmer, like, talking out loud to themselves about it. Yeah. Uh, my one request is that we save some of the, of the ship, because I always like to sentimentally uh, build things with them. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, I'm getting, like, the driftwood and stuff, so <laughs> that's cool. 
Oh, no, for sure, for sure. That shit doesn't matter. <laughs> My pony lies over the ocean. Gone. Scattered all over the ocean. True. That Bring back true. my bony to me. Please, please, please. Our friends, um, I'm, I'm sure they're fine. Oh, go ahead. Suddenly, Bugs hears a voice. There's n I don't know whose voice this is yet, but I'm gonna wager a guess. There's nothing here! This whole place is deserted. Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Bugs might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. Yeah, okay. Whack. You, I like how you can really tell that this game, which is definitely Stardew Valley in a very weird treasure chest full of kelp! Great. So cool. Thank you. Oh, that was the captain's treasure! It was his treasure! <sighs> but I like how you can tell this game is kind of meant for, like, like, we obviously enjoy it and we're adults, but also if you're an eight-year-old who's never played a video game before, you'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I never noticed. Look at the sand has a little, uh... Transparent yeah! effect where it merges onto blocks around it. That's cute. It's really, honestly, the look of this game. <clears throat> Isle of Awakening. The land of infinite opportunity and sand. Mostly sand. That's some nice music. Mm hmm. Shame it's probably made by that one shitty dude. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Hi. I miss Captain Two. Oh, who's that figure standing looking dramatically off at the sunset? <clears throat> or sunrise? I can't tell. The sky is such a strange color. Sir, that's just sunset. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell, more likely. <clears throat> Huh? What was that noise? Hey! Bunches! Who the heck are you? Bunches! <laughs> I know this model that. <laughs> Bunches! Bunches! Rude? Finally! A live one! Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach? So how come you didn't cark it too? What's your story? What accent is the word cark it from? <laughs> oh, that's your really name's stuck. Bugs, and you're... Oh, right. And you're an apprentice farmer? That's weird. Huh. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyways, my name's Malroth! Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. He is rude. What's the matter? Not squeamish, are ya? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Mm, so, yeah. worth noting, uh, when I first tried this game, it was very much at Bugs' uh, gentle insistence. Which is to say, this uh, expansion of Stardew Valley. The original mm -hmm. demo used to end like around here. It doesn't anymore. It goes on for quite a while. And I might have bought this game after meeting this character. This, this, this kind of went for it. Can't believe you literally run around on a sunset beach to I go know. fucking look at dead bodies. Oh, did it come through? Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. No? Huh? Nothing. Bugs? Yeah, hi. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from that shipwreck. 
Oh, we're on a delay. Okay, that's what it was. Discord hiccup. Sorry about that, Frankie. Oh. Yeah, just. <laughs> Discord just hiccuped on my end. I just, I have to wait until I can see the text. Sorry. No, no. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... <coughs> Cough. Sputter. What the... Hey, that girl isn't dead after all! She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. No, Rob! No! Hey, you got a stick, right? Let me borrow that. Maybe this guy's okay, too. Oh, you want to do it yourself? Yeah, There's he's no probably... Response. There's no response. It's, it's just, just a course. So... Oh. <laughs> So, so in case that this game is like fucking around, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I got a bit of a shock the first time I saw this. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have that pop up when I'm <sighs> hovering over a corpse. I mean, you're hungry. That's true. Oh, even the slimes! Even the slime... Even the slime is punished. Oh, a barrel! Okay. <laughs> girl isn't dead! Yet, anyway. Ugh. <gasps> Where am I? How did I get here? Eee! You pirates, aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigands who will take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return! Wow. Hey, good idea. Oh. Huh. Quick, get her! There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? Dude. <laughs> Come on! Let me kill head. one person! Ah, oh, come on! Why not? You're following me around. He is, just like a little baby duck. That girl's got serious issues. What do you say we go and shut her up permanently? Come on, come on, come on, little murder. No, little murder. No, no, we shouldn't. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I am not kidding. He is literally as if Goku and Vegeta's positions were reversed, but not the age thing, because he is an adult. He's just Amnesiac Vegeta. Oh Sorry. yeah, the proportions are like weird, but yeah, these characters are adults. Worth mentioning. Important to mention. <clears throat> because there will be alcohol consumption I like they use in this the door. game. That's... Yeah! Malroth likes bars. Yep. And... But not the girls in bunny outfits, somewhat explicitly. Hey, but I, I, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Get away from me, you villains! If you're gonna take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with bugs when your ship sank. Just a moment. Do I know you? Hmm. Yes, I remember. You're that farmer from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I knew you were in cahoots with them, so that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, alright. Even a rank amateur like you should be able to use that worn-out worn workbench. 
outside to make the most basic essentials. I'm Luda, by the way. Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Luda's demands. Luda's demands! We'll need to make shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those glove zoomers to pick it up. You won't have to worry about splinters that way. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. There's bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on a bonfire first. You'll need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for you, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken <coughs> broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Oh, that avatar is so fucking cute. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm going to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we'll have to deal with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room while you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even look at the common decency to wear a, pro wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty <gasps> muscles. <gasps> Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. See? Mmm! I'm flexing oh, so hard! Oh, Builder. You'll these do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from the savagery. That's wonderful! <laughs> I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you'd like. Then, when you become a full-fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Whoa! Training exercises? I do think I like the sound of training for some reason, but I'm not sure why. <laughs> Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well... How about we put her out of our misery instead? <laughs> Bill is like, yay, mission. <laughs> do you, uh, you have anything to say about that? How's the building work coming along? I do hope you won't keep me waiting too much longer. <laughs> She's just completely unscared of him. God She's bless. just like, yeah, whatever. Which, by the way, uh, oh, hold on. <clears throat> that girl really gives me... Sorry? <laughs> that girl. <laughs> <laughs> we love the British. Hey, 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 hold on. That girl really gives me the hump. First, she won't stop whinging, a normal thing for someone to say. Then, the moment she gets something, she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. <laughs> Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day. Not her, Skivvy. <laughs> yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. <laughs> soppy? She's a castaway at the end of the day. Same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto that I've had for two minutes because I'm amnesiac. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know how you said you were a builder? I'm sorry, real quick. Because of the position, he's staring at us across this block like he's a fucking <laughs> cat. <laughs> he's gonna sell us something. Yes, Malrock. He's only one block tall. Is that... Like, something to do with a duck's nose? A bill... Bill... The bill... Build a bear? <laughs> well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you! But only so I don't have to hang around here with her, that bitch. <laughs> have you decided which of her errands you'll do first? If it was up to me, I'd mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes, and hey, presto, we've buildered ourselves a brand new room. Right? Right? Is that how this works? Be honest, I blanked out the rest of her request. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. 
Oh, you're tall now. Oh, he likes to feel tall. <laughs> oh, you're so tall, Malroth. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I love my first Malroth person, team. my FPS game view of the bat yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Malroth teaches healthy boundaries, sort of. Yeah, honestly. Malroth, you are so Hey, fun. you! You shouldn't immediately listen to someone else's unreasonable demands. Now build me an empire. <laughs> oh, you look so nice against the sunset. Oh. It okay. Does. Uh, also, I'm gonna request a quick break here, since this is a good point for it, and I need to go stretch and possibly gargle. <laughs> yes. Good idea. Be right back, y'all. Hey, boop. Hi. Hi, everybody. How goes? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hi. <sighs> I love the starting update, too. Ugh. First person Stardew, God. You're right, random zero zero factor. Um, Vegeta? I mean, he does have a lot of scenes. He does have a lot of scenes. It's not, it's not explicit, but listen. Hi! One sec, one sec. <sighs> so, how's everybody been? I had a fun April Fools. I really- Oh, sorry, what? No. Uh, I really enjoyed the Adult Swim Junior thing where they had kids dub Adult Swim shows. That was really cute. You got your second order on Etsy today. Found out it was a gift for someone's kid and almost started crying. Ah, ducks! Hang on, let me actually get a link to- why is it looping this one? Oh, it was looping this song because I was working on a commission, and when I work on a commission, I loop one song over and over while I work. Hang on. Ducks. Yo, ducks, uh, you should drop a link to your Etsy in chat. You got cute stuff. I got my little, uh... My little gray dude with the tongue sticking out. Thank you, Pops. Sure, thank you, Pops. Um, and it's it's cute, real, or built really well. The Aqua Teen kids killed you. Yeah, fucking. Oh my god. The fact that they got like a like a like six year old to dub Meatwad killed me. And this is a real fun time. Thank you, Ripple Beans. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, the dubs are so good. Good night, Mom. Oh, Dead Man's Party is a good song. I like that. I used to uh, listen to that album a lot when I was walking home from school in high school. It's good to see that Vegeta was added to this game. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Is everyone having fun in Stardew Valley? I love Stardew Valley, says 24 people. Aw, oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, y'all check out uh, etsy.com slash shop slash arts and quack, and that's Rubber Ducks' store, and they got really cute, uh, really cute plushes. They, they made the little plush bug, uh, that I love with my heart. That's right, Vegeta, you're on there! Fucked up! Hey, the uh, audio isn't doubling for you guys on the music, by the way, is it? normal? Okay, cool. Um, OBS has decided it doesn't like my new headphones very much, so I have to
to occasionally split the audio and then refix the audio after. It changes every time! It's very exciting. No, they've been there the whole time, the little adventure Frankie has had in. Uh, Frankie says that that's the caretaker of the uh, other things. Or those things, sorry. Um, I think he said once that they live in that little shack on the big those things, but I don't know if that's true or something I'm like making up in my head. But yeah, I've always liked that character. Makes you think. Oh, the music's a little loud? Alright, let me close with that. Oh yeah, you know why? Because iTunes is extremely loud today, I'm sorry. Let me plug in the switch controllers a little bit while we're sitting here. I can play Monster Hunter Rise, like, in this business late at night. It's very fucking good. Yeah, uh, Ribble Beans, uh, supposedly refreshing will fix the lag issue. I don't know what's going on with the uh, Twitch today. Sorry about that. Hey. about the little witch in this picture. Do you have anything you want to tell them? Oh! <clears throat> yeah, actually, so, uh, that is... I kind of just call them the Thing Witch. They're not, like, a developed OC or anything. It's just making this piece took, like, a really long time. So I wound up thinking about it while I was working on it. They're, uh, they're non-binary. They're who live in that little house down there. And they... <clears throat> they've grown all of the smaller things in the area by taking cuttings from the three big ones in the middle uh which have been growing there a really long time which is why they're so big which by the way it's technically one entity because they're connected down there like by the trunk kind of so the rainbow one is basically the result of like a really long time of like putting cuttings together like you know how you graft trees you can do that with things. It's actually way easier to do with things, because all you really gotta do is, like, you graft them by, like, first important thing. Oh, I'm a little bit loud? Oh, really? That's fun. Uh, I'll keep talking so that bugs can fix fiddle with it. Okay. So, basically, first step to grafting one of these is you have to ask nicely. Very important. If you forget to do that, it won't work at all. You can't cut them with, like, almost anything. And then you just kind of, like, take a little handful of the black material and you let that sprout and then if you want to graft two of them together you just take those really little tiny little wiggly ones you see down there you can kind of take two of those and like gently wrap them up in like a little piece of cloth together and they'll grow into the same entity so getting one specific cutting that can make like rainbows like that is really tough uh, <laughs> I just think about these things. I think about these things so much. <laughs> you have to think about something while you're working on things. This is what I do. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that little figure is. That's rad. That's I'm really still, cool. You know, I'm still kind of impressed. I'm still kind of impressed by how the uh, the blowing animation on their like little capelet looks. Yeah, you did great on that, man. Fucking very natural. I love uh, this, the little dancing dude, too. Yes, that's my favorite. He's just fuck. <laughs> the little ones are much wigglier. The bigger they get, they move less. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I have no idea if the thing which is facing toward us or towards the cabin. you think I'd know that, but I don't. Oh, that's cool. Right. I, I feel... I, I, I feel like... It is in many ways the the wistful longing of many in our generation would be to live on a weird little mossy overgrown cabin in the middle of the lake surrounded by giant creatures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the dream. 
Which you notice, by the way, the big ones are all very politely not dribbling on the cabin. That would be Oh, rude. you're right. Oh, that's sweet of them. <clears throat> they're very careful. They're, they're gentle creatures, so long as you're nice. Uh, except they do like to fuck with researchers. <laughs> Nobody knows why. This is canon. Oh, I just me. noticed the yellow one on the right dribbles slowly and then a drop falls and grabs the other two with momentum and drops them. That's great. Yes! Yes! Uh, I, I really like animating fluid and effects kind of stuff. I find it very soothing. Mm -hmm. And I just, I kind of see, I don't know. I look at something really, really hard and then futz how it moves. And that's how all animation works, as far as I can tell. That's Do those cute. things like to be pet? <clears throat> the little ones really like to be pet. Uh, the big ones presumably like a nice pat now and then, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's like patting a whale. <laughs> so big. Give them little scritches in places hard to reach. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which I think I've mentioned before, but the texture on the very large one is a little bit like powdery concrete is where I've kind of landed. Mm-hmm. Like, that black stuff, you'll get it on your hands. You want to wear gloves. That's okay, cool. I made myself a cup of, like, throat soothing stuff, but ironically, it's too hot to drink. But I do have it, and I'm saying this out loud, so I'll remember to drink it. Okay. Do the dribbles smell like things? Uh, it's pretty odorless. The stuff that they're dribbling is, like... It has a natural dye to it, and it can be thicker than water, but it's functionally the same as, like, water with an inert, like, powder dissolved in it. So I would say if it smells like anything, it probably smells like... Ooh, actually, you know what I bet the... if it's, I bet what it smells like if it's kind of viscous. You ever open a fresh thing of paints? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. That first hit off of, like, a new tube. <sighs> The, the stick in your nose and the Which, uh, VHS case smell. Yeah, exactly. Your, the goo would taste like kids' Crayola washable paint. I know what that tastes like because I was three once. Uh -huh. I, I don't know that taste, but canonically it tastes a little bit like... The texture of it can be like water-like or it can be thicker. Uh... I always imagine it a little bit like if you've ever drunk, like, water with a lot of added vitamins mixed into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that mm -hmm. slight, like, water with a thickener added, But also, like, the powderiness. It's not bad. Does the health of those things reflect in the dribbles? Mm, not re- I don't actually know what makes some of them run thinner or thicker. Because I used to be like, well, maybe it's how much water is around them. But they don't actually take water from the, from the source. All of this is actually adding to the lake. It's not distracting from it. They, oh, really? they aren't processing the water around them. Yeah, it, the, so the water they come from is not taken from the local environment. And nobody knows where it comes from. But it can actually slowly add water into the environment around it. Ooh. Just, you get some weird colors. That's pretty cool. Uh, so if you find one in, like, the... Yeah, if you find one in the desert, it's functionally a little oasis. Which, I I should notice, you might have noticed me mentioning this, you can drink it. It's fine. You <laughs> might want to filter it first so that it doesn't taste weird, but by that I mean, like, run it through a cheesecloth. Yes, yeah, they're probably magic. Even more than magic... To me, they're just kind of meant like, okay, one of the first places I ever drew them was actually on a bunch of like really old manga panels. And I basically painted them over all of the people so that instead of having any people in the shots, it's just these weird empty shots of like, I matched the, the paint to the background of the paper so I could like blot out any bubbles too. Whoa, Ooh, thank you, random double zero factor. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet Unreal of you. Slippage. Tier two even. Wow. That's very kind of you. Oh. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Now you got powers. You got jam. Thank you. It's true. You've been give you've been gifted jam. But yeah, uh they're just kind of they're mysterious. I think in a setting that has magic, people wouldn't be able to figure out what the magic was, and in a setting mm -hmm. with like sci fi, they probably wouldn't be able to explain it either. I like them being weird guys. I do too. 
I'm glad you all like them a lot. Like, when we first started, I was like, oh, eventually, like, we'll make something else for the BRB screen that isn't, like, my weird art project stuff. But now, literally, the plan is when I make a new BRB screen, it's still going to have things in it. Oh, fuck yes. I'm kind of thinking something like a drive through kind of motif. Mm -hmm. Like an overgrown drive through theater. It'd That'd be cute. Because then we could put a... We could put the chat, like, on the screen, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, they they literally are chilling, except for the little one. The little one has no chill. Sometimes <laughs> they're like that. Uh, I'm very as an aside, I think one of my... Oh, no, no. We're, we're on our BRB. Do it. You... We've been doing this for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> this this is our break time. Uh, I Honestly, I think my favorite piece of physics is on the really big pink one on the furthest left side. There's a repeating pattern of small, 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 and then eventually it kind of like warps out a little bit bigger for a moment, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it goes. But then it gets caught by the larger amount, which I kind of enjoy. The little one's wiggly. He's sprightly. He's he's full of vim. He's full of vigor. He's he's wiggling about. Uh, you can actually see a sprouting very new one by him. That's the blue one. Oh, yeah. That's the little guys. Oh. Yeah babies that one's like basically a lump still they form a uh, head first so like when one first sprouts it's just like a little a little bump with a mouth <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't make noise actually but in my heart you cannot help but imagine that uh, <laughs> mm. <sighs> yeah My dad sent me, um, a bag of Heath Bar cookies he made, and they're actually very light and tasty. Oh, hot damn. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a uh, parent made some chocolate chips. I'm gonna tear into one of those after stream. I'm drinking mm -hmm. my, uh, what's it called? Okay, so the brand is Ninjiom, I think is how it's called, and they make mm -hmm. throat soothers. Uh, I have their, I usually use their, like, lozenges, but they also make a syrup, which... They say on the bottle you can drink it straight, or you can dissolve it in warm water. <laughs> My advice is dissolve it in hot water. You can drink it straight. I will do that if I ever contract strep throat. Mm -hmm. Whale sounds, but high-pitched. <laughs> you know, I think I almost imagine more like... You know what it sounds like when you're kind of far away from a busy highway, but there's just like that weird tone of a car going by that reminds you that there's still people out there. Mm -hmm. Like that. I don't know. Is there a YouTube result if you search like far away highway noise? <laughs> Probably. Probably, right? I Probably. say that and then I remember all the ASMR and lo-fi hip-hop beats. It's like glasses of water and they all have different pitches. If they did actually make noise, yes they do. But they probably only do it when there's literally no human capable of hearing them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when in my head I got the idea that they're like so difficult to study. But I just like the idea that they really have that SCP "fuck you" energy to them if you try to study them. I think not that. meanly. They just think <laughs> they're funny. They just think they're funny. Let's see how hot is the coffee? Um, while I was setting up our fun little Stardew thing today, um, uh -huh. your bug may have been working with a coffee pot nearby to drink from. Yep. Uh-huh. Just straight from the top, I assume? Yep. That was a joke. That was a joke I was telling. That was a joke I was telling that you're not supposed to say you're actually doing. <clears throat> So, are we re ready to go back to our fun game? Uh -huh. <clears throat> <laughs> our fun game? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, good idea.
Okay. For reasons. Yeah. And just for, like, personal reasons, we asked to not get into it, okay? Oh, shit. Frankie Small. Frankie, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to say it again. Okay. No, it's great, because I can explain now. What happened there is there's a curse on me. That happens if we refer to Luda, L-U-D-A, the pink-haired girl, by a different name you might see on the screen. OBS will forcefully small me, which is why you can't type that other name into chat. Definitely that, and not personal reasons. Yes. So her name is Luda. And okay. pointing at you all gently so that we all understand. Luda. There we go. Luda. Plus, she's just cool, so she deserves it. Yes. Luda is a good name. And yes. Uh, she definitely wears shadow shades. You just can't see them. Yes. They're not on her model. It's fucked up. Hey, are you cool with me using parts of the ship to build the wall, or do you want to leave the parts of the ship as. No, no, you. That's. that's No, that's what, the, that's what I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. don't gotta save all of them. Otherwise, you'd have to make it out of, like, sand. Yeah. Luda! Delicious sand house. Mmm, so tasty. By the way, I'm surprised that Malroth isn't like, Yeah, fine! Well, okay, quick! Now cast give him on Tilly Auto her! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I've... By God, indeed! <clears throat> Bugs, you repaired my room! Uh-oh, don't worry, ducks. Now I have somewhere to hide for safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. <laughs> Just so you know, a room must ha have a door and walls at least two blocks high, and that's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper shit I skipped a little too fast. Thanks for the room! Side note, I really love that she runs out to clap for you because it do it does feel a little bit condes- Good for you! Yay! You did it! Good job! You built a house. <laughs> so good, Well, builder. she seems pretty- Shut up! <laughs> well, she seems pretty satisfied of the new room. Hey, thanks for following, Neptune Vivo. That's a good name. That is a good name. Right. Next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook up some of those scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? I don't like her, but for some reason I decided to remember what her quest is. Is that something you can do? Look at his ears, his sir! Ears are very cute. Eureka, Bugs learns a Success. new recipe. Oh, you learned how to make fi- you learned fire. <laughs> What's the deal with that book? Can I see? Huh? You just, quote, invented bonfires, and now you can build one if you have enough materials? Sounds kind of oh. sus to me. God. All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on the worn-out work. Am I being used for a fucking tutorial? I didn't agree to this. Well, <laughs> if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I wrung this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. Sorry, you did what? Sorry, Malroth. All you need now is wood. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood of broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyways, better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. I hate her a lot. Also, let's get her some food. Okay. Malroth. Oh! Hi, the inspector. Sorry. Oh, inspector's so, out. I can actually see my hamster. It's where I can see. I can see my hamster where my bed is now because I moved it away from my wall, which gets super hot when the sun is out because uh -huh. uh, it faces the sunset. And I see him doing a scamper. Oh. We love our inspector. By the way, I love the idea of going on a tool belt bench and being like, "Aha! I shall build fire." Yes. Not, not to be too like video game jokes about it, but mm -hmm. what's that you've made? It's hot as heck, and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. Can I put my hand in it? 
But are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Malroth? Malroth? He's so concerned. He's so Honey? concerned. He's so concerned. You can use I, bonfire. I just don't want you getting hurt. It's not like I like you or anything. Baka. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not reading all that, Malroth. Builder, have you built this? The the snipers, Gordon. Hey, bugs. I want to ask you something. What is this feeling? I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? Oh, also, night, what's Neil. this? I keep hearing about gender. <laughs> hey, good night. You smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about. I'm repeating your words back because I guess you're talking in sign language. Ah, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look! They might be ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember, anyways. Uh, when I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, builder-free childhood. <coughs> In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. Is that a medical condition? <laughs> you know those scallywinkles L Ludo was talking, was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them all for ourselves. I, I don't actually know what they are though, so... Is... Right, can I pet them? Is that a scallywinkle? Is that a scallywinkle? <laughs> Oh shit, that's Kelly. What's that funny look? I was joking! <laughs> <laughs> What's that funny looking thing you've got there? It wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn. And that's something I'd rather avoid. I have amnesia, but I clearly already know about the concept of food poisoning. <laughs> well, bye, Inspector. Yes. Oh. No, no. Back in the house. No need. I'm not starving. That is a lie to the white bait menu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to eat this. Please don't mind. By big. We're just gonna hunch over and eat this raw kelp. Yeah! <laughs> I was oh, helping! Look at him go! Yeah. Here, get this too. Yeah! Oh, he's so good at it. He's so good at it. Oh no, he may have spotted the slimes. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're good. <laughs> the tuck dude says. What are your pronouns, Malroth? Stop swearing at me! <laughs> He's full of so much violence, though, Bugs. That's true. Careful, Bugs! The Scallywinkle just fell in the fire! Ah, that must be how you cook it. So you builders can make food, too, huh? I've just been eating handfuls of sand. <laughs> Still, it'll be a little while till that Scallywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go look for some more materials while we wait. Uh, okay. 
So yeah, you cook in this game uh, in the Stardew Valley expansion, and it actually takes a little time. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's charming, but it's also nice because you can, like, wander away. Also, this is how swimming works. Yep. All the time, normal. Don't let anyone tell you different, okay? Uh, and yeah, Twitch has been a little bit funky for us today. Uh, refresh, that might help, or turn down, like, the quality, because for once we actually have quality that can be turned down, but otherwise, good luck! Oh, you have it at the lowest, too? Yeah. Oof, sorry. Sometimes Twitch is in a mood. We're trying to make partners basically because we want to appease the Twitch god. Yeah. That aroma. Is that the smell of succulently seared Scallywinkle? I must have it. Turn this over. No. What? Look here, Builder. Stop playing games and hand over the Scallywinkle. She is mugging you. She's putting you in a headlock. <laughs> um, nom, nom, nom. Ah, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier, too. Just remember that cookering is, cookery is all about experimentation. Oh, how rude of me. I, I, just I really like being something. given the explanation. Sorry. Go on. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. You go ahead. I'm done. Uh, I just really like that she takes the time to be like, did you know that raw, that cooked food is better for you? She, she is looking at Malrock and the builder, the farmer, and is clocking them both as himbos and thembos. It's like, okay. And they're right. And yeah. she's right. She's, she's right. right. Bugs and Malrock, you say? I do know you're a builder or farmer, Bugs, but what do you do, Malrock? Well, I'm... Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. But I do know what, what, what sand is, I think. And food poisoning. And food poisoning. Well, well, an apprentice builder and her amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like them and protect them and keep them safe from monsters mm -hmm. and, and remind them of what the quest they're doing. Okay, great. Hi. Huh. Um, OBS what happened? lost connection for a brief second. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. We are going to be hearing about that in about two minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, no? Hi! Oh, it synced us up! <laughs> okay. Weird, okay. <sighs> this is wonderful, Bugs. You made a bed for me and a cup for yourselves, too! Taking a nap during the day will help you recharge your energies. And after the sun goes down, we'll be able to while away the dark and dangerous night in Dreamland. <sighs> is that really how that works? Probably. <laughs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder and on a desert island, no less. When the and there's Har only one bed. <laughs> when the children of Hargon attacked my home village of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood, so I stowed away on their accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths. But I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just have to highlight. Did Luda s sneak onto a fucking monster pirate ship to, like, stab them in the neck while they slept? Yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Alright, go on. <laughs> I love Luda so much. 
Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be removed on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. <coughs> I pray that you watch over me in these time trying times. <laughs> anyway, I think thank you <laughs> so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some well-earned rest. God, mother, father, look over me while I deal with these fucking giant moron idiots. Anyways, thanks. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> Let's see now. You prepared the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's everything. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around. And judging by the quality of your work, there's even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. <laughs> The castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, Thanks. but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. And as for you, Melrod, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, maybe even some manners. <sighs> now then, Bugs, I want you to go out the first light every morning and forge 30 scallywinkles and 50 stripes of kelp. It must all be cooked by lunchtime or else I shall be cross. <laughs> Uh, no, I think it. comparing her to early Bulma is pretty dead on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In the best way possible. I thought Lulu Luda might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big of pain in the neck as she was before. Also, she just passed right out, huh? Boy builder, she snores like a bear. Still, I'm impressed. <laughs> Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hey, Bugs, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like maybe it's OBS giving us trouble, which is fun because there's just nothing to be done about that. Sorry, mm, y'all. I'm sorry. What do you say? Will you let me have a crack on the workbench? I won't break it, I promise! Yeah, go for it. Oh, I have to... Mal Malroth, you have to get off. Malroth, huh? I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Bugs! I'm gonna be a builder, just like you! Uh, Malroth? Now then, what was it you do first? Uh... Um, the hammer? Yeah. Oh, no. that That's not right. Damn it! Why isn't this working? Alright, you asked for it! Ah! <laughs> Where? What did I do wrong? Does it make sense? Ugh. Why can't I make things? This rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, uh, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun in games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Bugs. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Luda, I think it's about time you even things out. And made something for me. Please? Pretty please? Give for Malroth? Okay, here's a bat with spikes <laughs> in it. Here's a nail bat. Big fucking stick. 
Big fucking stick. Big fucking stick for Malroth? Big fucking stick for Malroth, please. He's still standing on top of the table! He's so fucking Is that... <laughs> Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick. It's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff. Good night, Catboy Cowboy. Hey, good night, Cowboy Cowboy. cowboy. I'll see you along the Lonesome Trail. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That sounds right up my alley! Alright, I'll take it. Give it here! Hi. <laughs> oh. Hey, this really is a club and a half! I wonder how it performs. You, uh, wanna help me test it? Only one way to find out! Stand- Oh shit! Stand back while I give this beauty a few test swings! Look at him go! Yeah. Yay! Oh my hands! <laughs> <are mad>. Yay! Ha <laughs> <laughs> I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. Oh, you have snack. Good. And to think, he made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Bugs. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me. I think. Huh? huh? Bugs? Can you feel that? Huh. Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster. But whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. I might you know when a dog like growls at the door and you can't oh, yeah. really tell what they're talking about? Malroth's hair. That could be a good chance lady. for you to learn a thing. <laughs> yeah, it makes his hair stand up. This could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. <laughs> The monster somewhere down the coast to the west. <laughs> Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. Okay. I think that Malroth is perhaps our friend. I mean, I mean, it's not like we die, fight, and kill for him. A little. No, certainly not. Stop eating it raw. Mmm, so tasty raw, yum. No! Yama, yama. No! <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna log in with my multiplayer code and just cook in the background. Yeah, yeah. You know, there is actually, you could, like, visit my island and hang out. That's true, actually. Well, Starting not yet. We'll, we will unlock that in about five hours! Hooray. We are gonna make it to farming before this is over. I swear to God, we'll... we will. Probably. Oh right. shit! Big Chungus. So look at him fucking big. go! I love. <laughs> love to make Malroth my male wife and build him more tools for violence. Yeah, I mean. Exactly. The demo is on the Steam. The demo is on literally both Steam and Switch, I believe. Pick you up a bad man today. Big clap! Whoa! What was that? When you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. Mal Malroth feels the mailman at the door. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's called a. Uh... High five? It's something friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh. I never thought of myself as the touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey, and also for a hug before I go to bed at night. <laughs> Anyways, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I am feeling fitter already. Hey! hey. <laughs> Malroth gets Malroth stronger. gets stronger. <laughs> and Bugs reaches level two. Oh, the goof cat. Hey, thank you. 
Hey! Oh. Thank you for the hooks. <laughs> Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch has been well and truly scratched. Also, I notice we're bonded in some way, where I, I get stronger after you level up, and it surrounds us with a bright glow as if we're connected on some, some deep level. That's probably fine, right? <laughs> but don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter! If we want to stick to the const if you want to stick to the construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. You see, it was a graveyard smash. Still, God. building does look like fun. I wish I could I, I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess wanton destruction is more my bag. Hey, anyways, let's head back to the hut before Luda steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, all right. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Bugs? What is it? I'm... I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me! But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. I require my bedtime hug. Builder, assemble me a cup of warm milk. I require a story. Builder, I, I'm not the touchy-feely type, but if you would just pat my head uh, while I go to bed, that, that would be nice. Oh, there's a demo, and it is like an eight-hour-long demo, RC. It, yeah. This demo is not kidding. It, it is, I'm not saying it's possible. Maybe we wanted to show people the game to me. Mm, I'm just saying. Uh, hey, as I uh... believe Snails once put it, the demo is literally an indie game, like, full-length game. <laughs> yeah. It's just that then it actually continues for, like, 20 more hours. And it's one of my favorite games of all time. As a Stardew Valley, uh, expansion. Yes, it's one of my favorite Stardew Valley expansions, too. The DLC is called Dragon Quest Builders 2. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's on the Switch eShop. It's also on Steam. Mm -hmm. I can get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, I should note that on Steam, I think it's just Windows, uh, oh, but really? it's it's really good on Switch, frankly. I think so. I think I I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Would you uh, would, would you guys want us to play more of this game? By the way, just curious. Yeah, uh, just asking no reason. Just asking. We no will reason. get back to like the. We we will probably get back to like the core Stardew uh, experience. Oh look at them go! Oh look at Aww. them both! Oh, they're such angels. Oh my good friend. Her, she is just like shoved in that hay. I, they're such brats. This game really said, "What if we gave you two companions of of the genders and made them both just like giant brats?" Please, please, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just simply I, getting a snack I right kind now. of forgot how fast the. I yeah, don't. It's fine if the builder uh, doesn't sleep actually, except for that quest marker is apparently gonna stay there. <laughs> just Aww. sleep over with the homies. Mm -hmm. Oh, big stretch. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today! <laughs> Your first mission is to collect some kelp from breakfast from the bee. Mm -hmm. Eee! No! That said in the cadence of the sign. What is it, Luda? A monster? It's my scallywinkle! Oh god. It's disappeared! What? What? Do you not oh. know how eating works? <laughs> All right, Malroth, own up. I know it was you. I purposefully only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night so I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you wittering on about? I haven't touched your manky... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. I haven't touched your manky half-eat-munched mollusk. This was localized by someone from Britain. Oh, don't worry about it. The delay isn't anyone's fault but Twitch. I say, half a minute in the future. <laughs> huh? That aura. What's going on this time? Hey, you two! 
We're g you're gonna want to see this. Huh. It's not me doing push-ups this time. Aha! There's the culprit. That monster must be the one who snappled my scallywinkle. Uh, this is on the Switch. I think uh, Dragon Quest Builders 1 was on the 3DS. Mm -hmm. This one's Switch and Steam. Uh, <clears throat> I guess you did the ho-ho. Do you want to take him or should I? Uh, do you, do you have any preference? I, I, I think my voice can handle it so, so long as we close up at about midnight. Okay. Or one, one, we have to farm. We have to farm. We have We're to gonna farm. get there. <laughs> Do you want me to take him in that case? Oh. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him go! <laughs> oh shit! Uh. Yay! Uh. Uh. Hey, can I borrow that hammer? Whoa! It just took down the whole cliff! And are those... steps? Ho ho ho! This way, young whip whip whippersnappers! <laughs> We're either gonna get to farm, or both of us will go mute, is what's gonna happen here. Yeah! That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm... In second thought, maybe it's able to tell us something about this weird island that I woke up on with no memories, which seems suspicious. <laughs> Bugs! Luda! Let's get after that weird little monster. I've got some questions that need answering. Is it, is it a grandpa or is it a baby? Can it tell? Baby grandpa. That monster oh, baby stole grandpa. my scallywinkle. I demand we give chase and take it back to his rightful mind. Alright, it's the same thing. Okay. We can give you a new one! I have, I have like, three in my inventory right now, Luda. Please? Please? You know, this is very pretty decor. Mm-hmm. I like the green. God, look at that lighting, yeah! Oh, oh shit. Oh, cool. This way, this way! Quick, quick, quickly now! Uh, side note, those, like, vine decorations, I think, are still one of my favorite things. Yeah, me too. That's a Luma? <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay where you are, you freaky fogey! I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made the sky turn a funny color. I- I think. Is- is this another sun thing I don't know about? <laughs> Who cares about the stupid sky? I want my breakfast and meet you're going to jolly well help me get it back. <laughs> jolly well. This fucking local Alright, pip pip cheerio. Pip pip cheerio. How did we not notice how British the dialogue was when we played this for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> I say it's six a bong, builder. Six a bong? <laughs> six a bong? Grab your hand, smack your mom, it's six a bong, hey, what's this? <laughs> oh, oh that's hey, weird. what's that? Oh, that's weird. Anyway. Wait, that's fucked up and weird. Let's not think about it too hard. This way, kid, kid, kitty winkles. Nearly there. What the fuck is a kitty winkle? Is I don't know British? what a kitty winkle is, but do not call me that. <laughs> leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? Is hammerhood also British slang? <laughs> that monster's got some kind of strange power. I've never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. Quickly, before six of bong. <laughs> I, I hope my improvs thing. are mostly funny. <laughs> <laughs> they are extremely I cannot funny. Make myself You're stop. killing it, dude. Good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these pillars! Yeah, I love them. Whoa. 
Look at these pillars. <laughs> oh, also this that guy. Is, this is some incredible architecture. Is this like Greco Roman? <laughs> What's a place like this doing on a desert island? <clears throat> Why does he keep making that noise? <laughs> Come on, bugs! The hammerhood's just up ahead. Let's make it spill the beans on all the island secrets. Hammerhood's not slang for anything gross, right? <laughs> you tell me if I was, right? Like saying a British slur? God! <laughs> <laughs> There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammerhood her half snarfed leftovers. <laughs> I'll tolerate no excuses. Stealing is stealing, no ifs and or buts about it. Bugs seared that scallywinkle especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Goddamn, Luda, hoary? <laughs> Come on, man. Be cool. <clears throat> ah, yes, bugs. It just so happens I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for. Oh. For a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know he's a builder? Also, what the fuck is with all the alliteration here? <laughs> oh, you're a very observant one, aren't you? Why, you're the very reason I pitched that scrum scrum scrumptious scallywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Look around you, bugs. This temple is lame in the sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix 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 it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp temp temple is here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find that going dif dif difficult without a blueprint as a guide. Come back here, you conniving old codger! If you think we're gonna fix your house for free, you got another thing coming! We're part of a union, I think! <laughs> we are now part of a union. And also, anyways, what's the blueprint? So Malroth? Please? Fuck that, do not tell Malroth what a blueprint is, okay? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you floating? Whoa. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> uh, bugs? Why did you draw all these lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was telling us about? Also, where are you flying? <laughs> Gosh, you've never even been up here before, but you were still able to draw up a design for the mountain- for the mountaintop temple. That's incredible! Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprints to the block now. If that old loony was telling the truth, those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like all you need to do is place masonry wall, blocks in the squares, and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Oh no, I don't wear a brazier. Are you ready to show Gary Glows a lot how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. <laughs> <sighs> I got more of a titties outlook, okay? <laughs> also, I am so very glad y'all enjoy my fucking goofs. Yeah. Frankie is a funny man. We love his wit. I every try. Day, every day when I uh, talk to him on Discord, I say this as a greeting. He loves it. It's true. It's it's kind. Of, it's very intricate. He loves it and does not at all hate uh, it. Say. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like a big copy pasta, really. <laughs> you were gonna say? Oh, uh, I think I was just gonna say that I just really like how both Luda and Malroth do the standing on top of something thing, because they're pathing, like, uh, so any NPCs following you can pretty naturally jump over, like, a one gap high, uh, wall, and so they just stand on stuff and it cracks me up constantly. Yeah, it's very good. They are so fucking tall. My favorite thing is when Malroth just stands on something that you're building and just watches you build it. Uh-huh. It's very cute. Uh, 
And in 10 Zombies, if we do wind up playing this game long enough to get to some other characters, that's gonna get worse. Oh, yeah. This of this weird British English words. Good work, Plugs! You finished the blueprint! I didn't know what that was a minute ago, but I support you. <laughs> and you didn't even break the sweat. I think you'll have to build me a palace next. That should be no trouble for an expert like you. Uh, apparently Twitch has decided big fun April Fools if not work. What if, what if, what if... Oh, hi. Hello. Sorry. Hi. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> we're, we, we're gonna at least gonna get to the part where the farm joke makes yes. sense. We're fucking yes. determined. Yes. Okay. If we're in worst case scenario, we'll see y'all in the VODs. <laughs> <sighs> it may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact how multiplayer works. I mean, the dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just take a look in there and see all the wild fucking shit people in Japan have been making for like two years. Uh, J Genuinely, the shit that people make in this game. Holy shit. Uh, prepare to be slightly overwhelmed. Let's see. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Hang on, I want to look at the all-time ones. Those always fucking... Ugh. I miss. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Let's... Hey. But Jesus Christ. And you can actually visit the islands that these pictures are taken on. Yeah. You can, like, run around in them. Uh, wh if, whenever we, like, play again... Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Right? We, we should definitely check some of these out sometime. Oh, uh, Ooh. so yeah. This game is Minecraft, but to be frank, with way better design options. Like, oh, um, like, look at this shit! This is why I go fucking buck wild over this game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which by the way, there's no such thing as cre- well, by the very post-game, they give you ways to build things and get specific items much easier, mm -hmm. but this is still all like brick by brick here, uh, to quote Lego Island. <laughs> yeah, the fucking gut, the fucking arcade- Jesus! Yeah, honestly. Those are all slimes, huh? Yeah, they are. Those are all slimes, every single one. And remember, to get those color Screaming. slimes, you have to, like, dye things, too. God, that's right! You have to individually dye things. You have oh, to make wow. dye. Which I love. I love. I'm simply saying, whoa, look at that! Wow. Killing me. The problem is if the- Oh, we gotta look at the giant slime before we quit out. We do have oh, to look sure, at the giant sure, slime. Sure. I do need to see the large boy. Big. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, it's a cult. Oh, it's a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine making those things in this game. Uh, uh, oh god. That would probably actually be easier here than in Minecraft because I could get like colored water going. Oh my oh, god. Shit. The perspective Look at that. needed to do this. Oh, those aren't miniatures. figures, those are the characters. That's, yeah. This is a perspective yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a perspective shot. Jesus Christ. What are they doing? Look at the fucking pixel art happening here, too. I admit That's I'm more into, like, the buildings and locations than- Oh, Christ. Yeah, yeah. People get up to some shit, y'all. People get up to some shit in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you have to look at this one, because at first you go like, oh, they put the logo over it, and then you realize, no, they built the logo into this shot so that at this precise perspective, 
I imagine if you move the camera, it's a bunch of, like, mid-air blocks. Frightening. 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 Oh, a TV. We're not gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. No big deal. Just, like, a TV in a rec room. <clears throat> no, people do some wild stuff in this game. It's great. I think it's Dig Dug. I think yeah. they made Dig Dug. Oh my god. God, god. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Did you like what you saw, young, young, young'uns? Oh, yes. Oh, I yes. These wonderful photographs. Oh, sorry. And there are so many of them. I hope Bugs takes the time to snap a few of himself. I can see the model. Ho, ho, ho! You young, young, young'uns, enjoy yourself. Come and find me when you're done, done, done. I'll be waiting right out here. Yeah, exactly. Like, even if you, if, even if it, like, the thing about the demo being really nice and being very long, I cannot, I'll be able to, like, by the end of stream, I'll be able to explain just how long it is. Uh, it's a demo. You can try it out. Ain't no risk except maybe eating some memory. Oh, God, I forgot about this. So oh, hey, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So, when you take a photo in this <laughs> game, you can change facial expressions and make people track the camera. Definitely in no way horrifying. Not even a little. Definitely not. Oh, he's oh, over there. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Camera is doing its best. Luda, hi. You seem to be on the platform behind. Hey. You. Oh. Hey, buddy. What you looking at? Everyone's fine. This okay. is fine. <laughs> wall. <laughs> looking at the wall. <laughs> ho ho ho! So how do you like your notice board? It's quite the snap, snap, snap as paradise, isn't it? As long as you've one of those boards nearby, you can flout, flout, flout the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders whenever you desire. Fuck physics, I say. <laughs> and you can put your creations... Hello. Hello. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> yeah, we have no there. control over this, but... <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll see if it steadies out, hopefully. Yeah. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. Oh, it's this island! There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't even think a master builder could contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho ho ho! I know that! Little lass lass lassie! Don't fucking call me that! <laughs> There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Hey, uh, remember what I said earlier about, like, colonialism concerns? That seems a little... Just fucking relax, okay? <laughs> As the young damn damn damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack lack lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you'd make much head head headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back, back, back a few friends to help you out. Besides, 
You get lonely rest, rest, wrestling around on this big island by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven the place up. Bring me worshippers. <laughs> Hold on. I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to those other islands without a ship? Ho ho ho! A top 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 notch question indeed! And one that the heavens will soon answer! <laughs> that that seems menacing. Uh I notice your temple involves a lot of fire. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue! Ho ho ho! A ship ship ship! Whoever would have thought it! Oh yeah, the hairy hermit is literally hairy. He's just a fuzzball. You're doing this on purpose now. Alright, out with it! Who are you really? You can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back, back, back to me if I watch bugs work their building magic. Probably. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. Okay. A new destination um, has been added to your map. Uh, We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get to the farm. The farm. Okay. Farm. Farm. I like... Do you think Maroth occasionally is like, hey, you're jumping down a lot of really tall cliff? I don't take damage, you do. <laughs> so Wake up, new boat just dropped. That's true. Watch out. He's kind of concerned for the builder a lot, honestly. <clears throat> hey, dude. Oh, I wish you didn't have a turban. Mm -hmm. Ahoy there, me briny bill tracks. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. Their name's Brownbeard, a bad name. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me bee's knees when I sailed right into the path of one of the children of Hargan's slave ships. I managed to avoid him, but only by steering right into a terrible storm. By the time I realized me map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back. But I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on me portboard bow and punted it over. This accent is drifting. <laughs> so, what's your story? How did ye young snapper whippers end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. It will be at least once Bugs here is finished with it. Ludotopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourself. Me, I'm married to me ship. Aye, and a safe haven for a salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about. Tell ye what, if ye let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on me map's backside. I drink a lot of coffee. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of me neck. And I don't know me neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry you over. <laughs> well, your boat's a bit on the small side. But it looks in decent. Well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks in decent Nick. <laughs> Nick? Nick? Help! <laughs> Who's Nick? <laughs> I'd say we got a deal. Ho ho ho! It seems like everything is in- is- oh, sorry, it's this fucker. Ho ho ho! It seems like everything is drop, drop, dropping into place! 
The fine captain will take you to nearby islands, where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able bod bod bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Ludotopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks, and people sagging under the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrow Field, an island to the least, famed for its fertile fields and fruit, fruit, fruitful farms. Follow your nose. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming and a dash, dash, dashing dandy with a bushy beard. I like him bearded. They should be able to help your causes. He says dashing. <laughs> I'll mock, mock, mock it on Captain... I know, right? We stand. I'll mock, mock, mock it on Captain Brownbeard's... Is that really your name? You just leave the sailing to him. You heard the magic monster. Bugs, come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons the last time I checked. Well, we got so much to do here on the island. Ahoy, bugs! Where will ye be sailing anchor to today? I love the map. I love the map. It's our now, I need I need to point out something very important on this map, which is a worm in a hat. We're probably not gonna get we're not gonna get to meet the worm in a hat probably today, because Frankie's throat is gonna fucking collapse. But look at it! What more do I need to sell sell people on this game? Uh, so you auto save when you go between islands. That's all that is. But I must warn ye, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You'll have to leave behind everything you gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. It's a bit of a gaming contrivance. Bugs, Malroth, you decide to go to this new island then. Yep. We're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Luda! You're coming too! Actually, I think I'll stay here. Bullshit. What the- Thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board! I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hargan's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach setting foot on a boat right now. But don't let that stop you from exploring this frail field place. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look, I'll have you now. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Ludotopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. Together, we can make Ludotopia a verdant paradise fit for a princess such as myself. Fine, bring Luda back a girlfriend. I get it. <laughs> ho ho ho! You two go off, off, off on your little adventure. Luda will be safe here in my care. Heh, <laughs> as if we can trust a word you say. Still, it's only Luda's neck on the line. Alright, let's roll. We round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. When you get back, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Ludotopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage! <laughs> Come on, bugs. I can't wait to see what furrow field is like! All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. Tummy? <laughs> tummy, Malroth? <laughs> His tummy is rumbling. All aboard for a trip aboard! Time to set sail! His tummy's hungry. Oh, this is my favorite. Malva sits on the very front. It's his special spot. It's his special spot. He likes to feel the wind. He is so fucking precious. He really is. So, oh, did they fix the text? So, the Lord of Destruction has befriended a builder. They did not. They, they did didn't. Not. They, they did didn't not. actually fix it. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither man nor monster can escape its influence. Three, four, five, six, 
7, Christ. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, It just shows 15, up faster. 16. 16 seconds. But now is the time of creation! Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Don't 27, rush me! 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, <laughs> 35, oh, no. 36. There is only one who can save this world from oblivion. Malroth, the Lord of Destruction. So it's actually a glitch because the original game, uh, this section was done in kanji to make it clear, like, this character is speaking in this very, like, erudite kind of way. And so they coded it to, like, pause per character because, you know, to give kids enough time to read. But in English, every letter is a character. I yeah. think it's better than it used to be, actually. Yes, uh, before it used to be, like, two minutes between uh, lines. Yeah, my god, it was rough. It was check your phone while you're waiting for the cutscene to finish. Except the worst thing is, it auto-advanced, so I'd be yeah. like, I don't want to miss it, though. So you can't, like, get up, you can't, like, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> they should have it, used this. It's a lot better. They should have used those screens mm -hmm. to, like, hide the loading time, I think. <laughs> You'd think so, right? It's just Mauroth spacing out. Oh. Thoroughfield, the land of verdant vegetation. We made it! We made it to Farm Island! Oh, thank god. <sighs> Here we are at last. I kept spacing out and hearing an evil voice that whole time. That hairy hermit's got a nerve. Sending us all the way out here on a boat like this, the way it was listing from side to side, I'm a mage who made it here at all. Well, list or no list, you're safe and sound on dry land now. Welcome to Furrowfield! Yarr. Yeah, I feel the same, Kalish called Jericho. I'd just as soon advance the text myself. At least, I assume it's Furrowfield. Ain't never heard of the place myself. But it don't look like Baron or Zahan, I can tell you that much. Those are Dragon Quest locations. <laughs> Anyways, I'm headed out for a bit to get the lie of the, uh, sea. But don't worry, I won't sail away into the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home once the plot's done. <laughs> I think... I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, bugs! Let's get going! I want to see what this island's got in store for us! Beautiful green grass? I'm, I'm not sure. I think you have to use your hammer. You're just kind of attacking it. Oh! What's it? What's the. What's a. Oh! Oh, this is that Monsanto shit, huh? Welcome to Thrillfield. Welcome. Plenty. Please stop by the farm and enjoy some delicious, freshly baked bread. Oh shit, delicious, freshly baked bread. This island is pretty weird, don't you think, Bugs? The trees are all withered, the ground's gross and slimy, the whole place stinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a month. Ew. Do you really think we'll find the greenery we're after in a slimy, stinky place like this? Huh? Whoa! What the heck is that? It's some kind of pink, pulsating thing. But what is it? I'm gonna touch it. Here I go. Oh, that's one of them Half-Life Alex things. I think it's some kind of fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. Uh... Oh, she's going for it! Do you reckon the whole thing's edible, or...? Stupid thing just blew up in my face! 
I'm gonna stink! It's turned the dirt around and all gross and slimy, too. Wily let his fish bait monster free on this island. Fuck. God. You're right. You're right. Haha! <laughs> I've heard of fruit going off before, but not like that. This place is crazy. Huh? I smell a fight brewing, Bugs. Over there! Leave me alone! There's no point trying to eat me. I have nothing but skin and bone. Eek! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun! Come on! Let's go and see what all the screaming's about. I've been friends with this person who just popped up on the corner for like two years because we traded a Pokemon way back in the day. <laughs> Every single day that I play the Switch, every single day, I see them log on, they're playing Fortnite. I've never seen them outside of that one time we were playing Pokemon boot up anything but Fortnite. God damn. Yeah. So as oh. you can see, this new island has beautiful decor and uh, survival horror notes and slugs. Giant, giant slugs and also bats. It's a good place. The book is titled Furrowfield, Land of Plenty. Bugs takes a closer look. I forgot you do these bits. The I'll read the uh, actual diary card. Okay, yeah. Oh, go, go ahead. For it. Go for it. The farmer's paradise of Furrowfield is far famed for its five delicious fa 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 fa. The remaining pages of the book have been violently torn out. Hello, <laughs> friends. Hello, friends. Slug. Hello. Hello friends. Hi. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. I smell oh. a battle brewing. These are ass out monkeys. Oh. Well, you know, brewing. it's an ass out look. Let's do this! I really love that he does like, like little shouts during yeah, battle. That's cute. Uh, and also notice that we're doing like two, three. Mauroth's doing like five, ten. <laughs> Hello, Leon. Hey, Leon. Ha! That'll teach those monkeys to mess with us! Alright. Time to get some info out of Sally Screams a lot. So this is how I die. This dinner for a big, stinky ape. I hope I give them a horrible indigestion. Wait! The monsters! They're gone! Those scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. <laughs> huh? Eek! Since one of you two been standing there? Long enough to find out you talk to yourself. Since you beat the monsters? Oh, I see. Thanks for the help. My name's Rosie. What's yours? What are you doing here? He's Malroth the Amnesiac, and your bug's the Apprentice Builder. And you've come here to find out how to add a little greenery to your island? You know, going around telling everyone you're a builder is risky business. There's no telling how they might react. You're lucky you met me. I be, might be lucky that I met you. Hmm. Alright, my mind's made up. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few rules. As the far finest farmer in Furrowfield, it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. Finally! <coughs> oh, thank you so much. We've been, like, we've been playing this whole game, like, trying to show the audience, like, the farm. And be like, and, and, and Stardew like, we... Valley, it is farm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, thank God, mm -hmm. thank Which God. Which it is Stardew Valley. So we're but, like, there. the thing is, like, we're gonna see this ama the beautiful greenery... And the farm, and and it'll be. There's a lot of slimes here. There's a lot of slime ground, Man, but I, I'm sure the actual like, hmm, oh. hmm, huh. Mount Roth, are you stuck? Okay, there he just <laughs> he got distracted. <clears throat> well, here we are, Furrowfield Farm, the greenest greenest garden on the island. How do you like it? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but it's not that great. It's not very green. It isn't even a garden. Oh, I know. That's because we haven't built it yet. Huh? For 
Sparrow Field used to be a plant lover's paradise, with vegetables and flowers growing everywhere and anywhere. Then the spoil spores appeared and turned the, all the earth into a horrible, stinky slime. You can hardly even grow weeds in it. There was once a great farm here, the biggest and brightest on the whole island. And if all of us put our minds to it, I think we can bring it back. All of us? Are those guys mixed up in this too? Huh. Come, Perry! There must be something we can do! This is the last of our wheat! Not to mention the soil! We've scant enough arable earth as it is! I wouldn't stand... <laughs> oh, so for I, it. I, I, I mixed up who was talking there. <laughs> I won't stand, I won't so stand... Close by where you, Mr. Bonanza Sore. This here spoil spore looks like it could go up any minute. Suffering slimes! Bonanza, Perry, are you alright? Quick, you two, we have to get over there and make sure they're okay. Who is this we you speak of? Oh. I'm gonna stay over here. Oh, you sure I found are. a cool rock. You're just wanting Doing my own thing, food. okay? I do not care for the plot. Ha <laughs> ha! That thing went, went off right in their faces. Let's go and check out the aftermath. I want to see Skull. It's... Builder, oh, can one... you get me a Skull, please? One cute thing about Malroth's behavior that's going to become more apparent yeah. during a building process is Malroth mm. will wander the whole map, but he will like circle back to you and watch you building specifically, and then wander the whole yeah. map and then come back to you. Uh, so long as you're inside the confines of what the game considers to be a town in this game during, like, the game, like, post-game it works a little bit differently, sadly. He just wanders around and literally does his own thing, uh, but I don't think the game will let Bug step off. No, here he goes. The second you step out of the town, Malroth rockets to your side. It is the best. And you're right, Malroth has been so good, he needs a skull he has never asked before. Please. Please? Please build Malroth an evil empire, please? Ooh. Ooh. We'll, we'll get to the plot in just a second. Oh, it feels doomed. That, that's you. Oh, sorry. Bonanza, Barry, are you <laughs> alright? <clears throat> we are, Rosie. But alas, our wheat is not. That spoil sport has obliterated the entire crop. Hmm? And who are you two, pray tell? I have not seen your faces before. And to be honest, I think I liked it that way. My accent is wandering southern, even though this is clearly British. <laughs> this is Bugs, and this is Malroth. Bugs says they're a builder. Blimeyneck! <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What kind of maid goes around telling everybody they're a builder? They must have something wrong with their head. Well said. Listen here, young Rosie. You may have fooled us this far, but we will not be taken for ninnies. If you honestly expect us to believe that these so-called builders will somehow salvage this preposterous plan of yours, you are gravely mistaken. Come along, Perry! We're leaving. I'm sticking with this mismatched accent. Oh, er, uh, oh, alright. Well, you must face facts, my dear. Furrowfield Farm is gone. The dream is over, and it is time to wake up. Good luck. Uh, that stuck-up beardy bloke really rubbed me the wrong way. Or in another word, fuck you! <laughs> Still, facial hair felonies aside, He's got a point. There's no point trying to rebuild this farm if the soil's no good. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not. I'm the finest farmer on Furrowfield, and Bugs is a real life builder. If we can work together, I know we can do it. <laughs> wow, you really don't know when to give up, do you? Why do you want to rebuild this place anyways? Why? Wow, it's like Bonanza said, it's my dream. A dream, huh? You know... I never really got my head around all this hopes and dreams stuff people go on about. Hey. I only feel deep longing and unfulfilled desires. Hopes and dreams is, that is song. 
That is the funny song. Oh, oh hey, oh hey, funny song from Stardew Valley. Please, Bugs, I can't do it on my own. You'll help me rebuild Furrow Field Farm, won't you? Yes. Yippee! Now that I've got a builder on board, the farm's about good as built. Bugs, Mauroth, welcome to the team. We're gonna make this place the best farm ever. Let's get started then, shall we? The first thing we'll need is a field to plant our crops in. Hmm. There's a good place to build it, I wonder. Why don't we had some kind of sign? Oh god, the builder's gonna start floating again. Ah, oh, there they go. Scarecrow! Scarecrow. What's the matter, Bugs? You're looking very pleased with yourself. You worked out how to build scarecrows. Huh, of course! Scarecrows are always found in the fields. If we stick one on the ground, everyone will know where our new field is. <coughs> So where should we put it? Oh, I know just the spot. There's still a little bit of good, clean soil over there. I'm so excited I can hardly wait to start tilling the soil. But not until you officially mark the field with the scarecrow, of course. If you need the materials, you can go get cord from the mines that grow around here in wood from the trees. You just have to hit them with a hammer. Go on, folks. Build us a scarecrow and put it in the middle of our new field. Finally, we can farm! Finally. So, Finally. part of what the game is actually teaching us about here is that this game lets you designate specific areas for specific purposes. And in this case, you can designate a little plot of land as a farm. Uh, why it will be more apparent once we've done it, it's actually something that I think is really fun. And mm -hmm. I'll, I'll talk a little bit like once we've stopped playing for the night about uh, some of the particularities of this game now that we've shown off this uh, Stardew mod uh, expansion. Uh, yeah, yes. Pre prequel. Yeah. Yes. Stardew uh, mod also, large slug. slug. Prequel. Large slug. It's fine. Very large slugs. And our hello. 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 Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. There's Hi. a lot of you. There's a lot of you all of a sudden. Well, I've got to go. You can't attack go. me. I'm in a town now. They don't exist here. And yes, oh. they all they all do the Toriyama running pose, which kind of cracks me up. Yeah, I love it. I love the dudes. Uh, as a side note, the way that, like, putting these tokens out does make you feel like, oh, we're, like, farming via cargo cult. Yeah. Well, it's it's simple. You, you just put down Scarecrow. Is that what I think it is? It is! Now that we have Scarecrow, everyone will know where to plant our crops. Alright, you can just leave the next step to me. It's still in time. Watch this. I'm I love this. Oh. Ho. Yes! So right now, Rosie is the only NPC we have, but if you have NPCs who know how to farm, and you set down a far- like, a scarecrow, they will naturally start tilling any dirt in that area into farmland. It's really cool! Mm -hmm. Like, the, oh, what- what- did, did anyone else see that? M you- ma'am? Bugs, Bugs obtained- you just picked up, like, a, you just, like, dropped an anime heart, and I guess we have it in our hands now. Ah, uh, farming's so much fun. I'm so happy I could pop. You look pretty cheery just now, waving your arms in the air with a big grin on your face. What was that about? Huh? Something popped out of me? And you picked it up? Uh-huh. Uh, I did feel like I was bursting with garden and glee just now. Maybe. Just maybe, some of that happiness actually burst out. Well, whatever it was, I'm sure it's come to you. It's to come in useful. If any more of them pop out of me, make sure you scoop them all up. Malroth, half the town away, just uh. <laughs> what you, you doing over there? Are the locals making you do something weird? <laughs> If someone tells you to keep a secret, it's just listen. 
Go around telling people you're a builder. You're a couple of cabbages short of a picnic, you are. Rude. Mean to me. Oh, do you want to hear his dialogue? Oh, yeah, yeah. Even if you are a builder, which is doubtful indeed, Furrowfield Farm cannot be rebuilt. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Does that work? What do you think, Bugs? I tilted the earth around the scarecrow. I couldn't have done it without you. With your actual inventions, my farm and finesse will be able to make some fantastic fields. I knew there was something special about you from the moment we met. After all, not everyone risks their life telling a stranger they're a builder. You don't see what's so dangerous about that? Ha! <laughs> have you been living under a rock or something? Everyone knows that builders are the enemy. But anyway, we better get back to business. We have a field. Now let's get some crops. Right. What do you say? Uh, get some seeds in there and then quit for the night? Yeah, I think so. Right. Now that the soil's all, all ready, right. the next thing you do is plant some seeds. Here you go, Bugs. These are for you. Bugs obtained five cabbage seeds. To be honest, plowing ain't easy peasy. Anyone with a hope can do it. But it takes a steady hand and a keen eye to plant a seed properly. I think you're just the person for the job. There should be five cabbage seeds there all together, Bugs. Let me know when they're all resting happily in the soil. Yeah, I like Finally! Design a lot. We... Yeah! I miss Cap'n. He was always respectful to us, if only. Mm -hmm. I do like, too, like, the very... Like, I know it's just, like, because it's how the game works, but it's very funny to be like, Wow, thank you for everything you've done! It's like, you're who plowed the field! <laughs> Good work, Bugs. You planted all the seeds and you did a lovely job of it, too. Just wait till Bonanza and Perry see this. They'll be begging for a piece of the agricultural action. Soon enough, the seeds will sprout and we'll be one step closer to fulfilling my dream. Yay! We did it! We farmed! We, we did farmed. farming, y'all! Thanks to you, we farm. have ourselves a fully farmed we did it. field. The only thing left is the water of the seeds. You see that little hill over there, Bugs? There's a spring at the very top, but it's a bit of a pain to climb all the way up there every time we need water. So that's where you come in. Can you build something that would make us easier for us to get to the water? Some kind of irrigation station? We have successfully valleyed the Stardew, it's true. Oh god, Builder's- Wait, is Builder flying again? <laughs> Fucking knew it. How do you do that? <laughs> uh, don't just laugh. Holy heck, is this? It is. It's a blueprint for an irrigation station. Did you draw this off the top of your head? That's amazing. It's like the one you drew back on the island, huh? It looks like we'll have to gather the materials for this one ourselves. Mm. Thank you, Boots Boots. Thank you for following. Well, if there's one thing we have plenty of here in Furrowfield, it's spoiled soil. Just smash up the ground if you need some. Oh, uh, don't forget to break your block that's holding the water back when you're done. Then we'll have ourselves a little water and hole. And if you start feeling a bit peckish, just remember there's always plenty of kelp down at the beach. I can't wait to see the reservoir. Oh. Yeah, I do really love that it's like, the builders are the enemy. They are Satan. It's like, no, they're good. I Admittedly, this one is like cackling... And like flying through the air, admittedly. Admittedly. But no. so, I think it's about time to wrap up because we've both been having to do voice acting. Yes. Uh, thank you all for coming and watching this and enjoying, despite OBS attempting to kill us literally where we stand. Mm. Uh, so. This is a game, yeah, it's it's midnight for us, and it's later for a lot of our audience. Uh, this is a game that me and Bugs both love really, really, really dearly, and we've talked about it on stream before. But we've, we've been feeling for a while like, oh, if we played a little bit of it, then we could show people mm. how, how good it works, how, how nice it is. Uh, and here's some facts for you. The demo length is the rest of this island. It is the whole rest of this island's story. 
you can literally play this game through about a fourth of the whole game. Yeah. Like, straight up. This island's content is like, there's a few more islands after this point. This, I would say, is like a pretty hefty chunk. Yeah, they updated the demo. It used to be much shorter. It ended, like, functionally after you met Malroth. You couldn't really advance the game or, like, save after that point. Which, mm -hmm. you know, weak that I am for mean boys, that did make me buy the game anyways. Immediately. 60 fucking dollars. Thank you for the mean boy. Malroth really said, hey, you want to see a dead body? And I said, I will be finishing this game. <laughs> I really, he, he's very sweet. We love him now, Roth. Um, he is. I had an OBS screen set up, and this is channel option, uh, he who? Um. Yes. <laughs> here's he 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 enabled, here's who who enabled, and everything under who who. And here's he yeah. he enabled as well. Uh, so that was fun. So, to draw the curtain back, that title intro thing was Bugs's idea, and like Bugs is who like master worked that together. Uh, I and I, I simply decided it was very funny, and my role was saying things with a straight face mostly. <laughs> I I came up with that napping As hour it were. before showtime. So, <laughs> or, uh, also it it's worth time? noting. If you take a look at our our mean joke joke of our promo image, which uh, oh, yeah. we will we'll get to the up. dang fair, we will. But if you look at it now, and look at the pot, just a little to the side of my shoulder in the picture, my idea was to bugs is, hey, we should hide Malroth's hair in the promo. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the builder's so, hair, and that's a slime in the pot next to them. Yeah. He 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 he. It's we, ah. we did we did the the joke is only funny so long as it's it's visible in a way. <laughs> <laughs> the clues were there. The clues were there. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming with us on this very silly goof that I'm very glad we got a chance to. And honestly, like, hearing that people might be interested in seeing the rest of this game yes. is very exciting, because we love this game and I forgot what a cute doof Malroth is right away! I know! I'm dying! He's so him. cute! So fast! <laughs> <sighs> I love that he's just like, hey, you wanna go see a body? He's like, hey, you wanna go see a body? Let's go fuck up a rat! I I feel like when I'm with you, I could maybe create things. No, I can't do that. Instead, I'm just gonna kill people for you. Someone called him a jaw? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he is! He is a jaw! It's, it's the middle ground of Alex and Sebastian. <laughs> God, God, God. Alright, let's take a look at fan art. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was already flipping through to like see where we should raid. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, no, we got stuff in there. Uh, it's a game that I love a lot. Malroth is a character I love a lot. Honestly, like, what, voicing him is one of the reasons I wanted to do this. Uh, even though it takes a bit of a bruising to like, doing a voice that has a rough texture to it is kind of hurts eventually. Uh. Mm -hmm. But it's like voicing Susie when we did Deltarune. It's just a character I love a lot. Also, Captain Skeleton, who literally in my first playthrough, I was like, No! <laughs> Captain Skeleton! <laughs> Please, God! <laughs> Come back! Let's see, let's see, let's no! I'm so glad y'all enjoy it. Yeah, uh, please do check out the VOD, Plute Boots. We, we had a lot of fun uh, showing people the game. Yeah. Admittedly, we did pretend it was Stardew Valley for a while, but also it is Stardew Valley. Don't worry about it. Phantom Hop, I'm so happy you're the one that said draw. Thank you. Yes. All right. Oh. Uh, All right. So, Ma Three. I love it. It's the Thing Witch. I love them. Oh, it's petting the little. They're giving them little too. pats. Thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Genuinely, this like. Oh. 
This makes me so happy. Oh, the little pet! That's beautiful. Oh, that, that's very sweet. I, genuinely, whenever someone does fan art of my goofy things, I'm like overwhelmed with happiness about it. Like it's 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 lovely in a way I barely know how to enunciate. Oh look, scroll down. It's an animation. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> I saw. I saw. That's why I'm overwhelmed. Oh, squishy baby. It's so cute. It. Squishy. Squishy. Thank They're you wiggly. So much. They need pet. They need pet. Yes. Oh. Thank you. It's love. I'm genuinely. Oh, <laughs> oh hang on. Heem <laughs> Wee boo. Please, OBS, please, I fucking beg you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I hate me, little. Thank you, Vegeta. Jesus Christ. And thank you again, Mothboy Benry. I love it so much. Thank you, Mothboy Benry. <laughs> oh, Zero! Yo! <laughs> oh, it's this a scarecrow a stuffed cat. full of chat! No, no, this is a normal person. Very oh, that's cool a normal person. Normal person. I see. I see. I, I see. see. Definitely right not, not chat playing in, <laughs> in a scarecrow. No, not. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's it's chat talk. It's chat to it's chat to slime communication. A uh, heem heem wibble. Oh, slime with chat. Oh, hang on. See, they're oh. communicate. I do think chats, chat definitely isn't a slime, but I feel like they're like, you know, when you like look at a dog and then you look at a hyena and you're like i understand you're not the same animal but maybe big scary puppy yes maybe yes yes i love it thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you that was, that was very sweet of you tonight was a ton of fun y'all thank it you was. so much for coming as always thanks to like if for watching the vods for doing gift subs for subbing for following it is a delight to be out here talking with y'all, uh, and I'm I'm really excited. Next stream will probably be Sunday, uh, unless I'm incapacitated for longer than I expect to be. Uh, I'm I'm getting a shot tomorrow. Hey, hell yeah! I don't know if that's weird. I don't know if that's weird to say publicly, but also it's on my mind a lot because I get to get fun a shot. I... The funny magnet substance. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I got to uh. I got to talk mine up. Come on, that's great, man. I'm fucking happy. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Yeah, I'm. I'm very happy. I am like okay. Everyone says that like they get the flu. I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. Yeah, I. Uh, I have a chronic pain condition. For anyone new to the show, so I have no idea how that's gonna interact. Because the funniest thing is, it's possibly I'll be like, I feel normal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo, Adrian, that's great. For tonight? Yo, hell yeah! Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I, okay, also, I have to tell y'all, I am literally getting the fucking, uh, not splat, I'm so, I'm, I'm getting a fucking water park shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It's in, yeah. yeah, it's in fucking Six Flags parking lot. <laughs> Kills me. Ah. Uh. Thank you all so much. I don't know why. I... But yeah, thank you all so much. I'm trying to find where to send you guys. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Any good uh, possums about? Any Is Train still dead? Is Train still dead? Train's still dead. Boo! It's Barn Owl live stream. Barn Owl, you say? It's, it Any is owls? an owl... Yeah, there's an owl in the nest box. It's warming eggs. I think it's sleeping, but do you guys <gasps> want to look at an owl anyway? Do y'all want to look at a sleepy owl? Uh, unless, of course, as usual, if there is someone that you know who is streaming, who is of a similar audience size or smaller, preferably, always let us know. Ham. But it sounds like people are down for a yowl. Oh, wait. Uh, Adrian just recommended some. Oh, ham pooned. Let's see. Oh, it's a little hamster. Ah. Hey, what yeah. you think? Yeah, sure. Fuck, go for it. Yeah. Also, if you need to sleep, go sleep. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you probably Sunday. Yeah, have fun. Probably. Have fun.
Bye bye. Oh, probably have Bye. like Alex on Sunday. Goodbye. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs>